Yeah, get us guys who've been in jail for at least four years innocently. Yeah, that's You're what right. we need. <laughs> you get Ryan Sheckler. If you want to... Uh, you didn't, the the life of he passed away. <laughs> you didn't ask about the titty on the glass, though. <laughs> no, we didn't get to a lot. We, we should have had a vlog. Shit. Hang on. I was listening to that. I thought, who that. is going to ask the titty could, on the glass? Right. I thought it was there Norton going to do it. There was so much shit going on with the old We had, so, we had so much more uh, to talk to him about. We, we should have had him for a long time. And speaking of Billy. Bill Burr of Burr in Burr. studio. A guy in a prison of his own kind. Bill Burr. Yes. Bill Burr, what's going on? Welcome. How are you? Very good. good. Very good. Thank you for, for taking me last second. Of well, you flew in to do Letterman, welcome. but you got bumped because of Joan Rivers, and now yeah, you got to fly back was, to L.A.? They had, it was going to go Joan Rivers, me, and then uh, uh, what's his face there? Um, Steve Winwood. Oh, Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood. Yeah. Yeah, when did you he, find out he, you were bumped? How about they bumped Steve Winwood yeah. for you? Oh, fuck. Enough oh, with that Steve legend who sell, sold out stadiums for 30 years. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> so I got there. I'm, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> you my take on motherhood. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of those things. Uh, Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers was killing. Yeah. yeah. She was hilarious, and uh, you know they were talking about you know the whole uh, you know when Carson just stopped talking to her. Wow. Like evidently oh, wow. when yeah, she okay. went up against him. He 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 never talked to her again ever. Never, like, not even like on his deathbed. Be like, ah, right, maybe it. I overreacted. It was it. It was over. So it was, it was compelling. She to called. Listen to. She called. I think Johnny to say like, uh, I'm sorry, your son died when his his son was killed. Yeah. No response. But he was a motherfucker, oh. man. Yeah, she said when he called up. Be like, yeah, listen, I'm kind of doing a show that's going up against yours, but you know, you are the king. Wham! Blank. Hung up. She called him back. He he hung up on her again, wow. and that was it. Never again. Never again. That's, a, that's that old school pre Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah, How just... did that make you feel, Johnny Carson? Like, there's, no, there's none of that. No, nope. click, that... fuck you. Punch, yeah. click, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is old school showbiz, too. Oh, yeah. Hold a grudge forever. I gotta see that documentary. Dude, you're better oh, off not following right. that, though. Who wants to follow such. Because she's a legend. She's funny, talking about something that we all know. <laughs> you don't want to follow that, man. Probably better off yeah, on another fucker. episode. Uh, oh, she's great, she's man. She's like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> You hear old stupid stories. She really is fucked Dude, up. she's the vicious. She's in the like, edgy of like the comic, too. Big Don Dumb Rickles yesterday. That stunk to high. I wanted to <laughs> kick the TV with that it, stupid it Don was, Rickles. It no, it's was good. Bad. Hey, no, what, puck. no, what hey, we saw just, there. Just, I know the, but, but that's what Jimmy, <laughs> but Jimmy was showing <laughs> us that clip saying that Don Rickles I killed. I never got hockey puck. It stunk. He, he did kill. Hey, look at you. you fucking booty booty. Like, I'm going to kick him in his fucking prostate. That <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you're not hey, a Don not Rickles fan? fan. Douche, I, I love Don Rickles, but that particular that clip. That was a typical set. He looked at the guy. He looked at the music director at one point. He goes, hey, the doctor called. You died an hour ago. It was fucking funny, man. I don't like his love for Borscht Belt. I don't love them. Loves Borscht I don't. Belts. No, I don't. I don't love those guys. I respect them. some of the Borscht Belt comics? Oh, Buddy Hackett did, which Jay Moore loves Buddy Hackett. They're all funny. I like the Buddy Yeah. Here's what I love about that age. The one thing. not The 50 things. But my favorite is the whole... What what we don't have now, I think all of us have a sense where we could be as funny as them in the future with television, is that camaraderie. It's the it's mm. the Dean the Dean Martin roast, right? Right. And you right. knew they fucking knew each other and they loved each other, and it's like that's you, that I that impressed. But when you see fucking that 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 fucking commemoration or whatever the fuck that was, <laughs> I'm sitting there like you know, nor and I it you somebody turned it off because it was no, it was a great example. example. You didn't it, watch the whole thing. I'll t I'm telling you, I watched the whole thing as a comedian. The magnitude of the gig. It was Reagan's inaugural. Fair enough. It, it was six thousand people or whatever. <clears throat> Reagan and Nancy are there. It, it's all of Washington, and Rickles just went on and was Rickles. But to watch him do it in that setting, it was impressive as a comedian. The magnitude of that gig for a comic. I'll give you that. I'll and then he, you watch the whole put thing. Put it in context. <laughs> is impre I, I like it in context. That's what was impressive but about he, it. He didn't put it in context, Jesse. He, he said, this is phenomenal. No, yeah, but it I didn't, just didn't I go over well just... On of the radio. Course so. <laughs> so but I even said you shouldn't play it on radio. I said you should yeah. it wouldn't work on radio. Just Google it when you get home and when you when you watch him working work it, it was Ronald Reagan. I mean I know they knew each other, it's, but he's an it's, old man. It's, what he's yeah. saying is if I have to agree with it, it, but I'm just saying that the that the sometimes you get caught up in yeah. in stuff of, of, of the greatness of old like, right. all I know is John Rivers is a great, but it's just yeah. like yeah. I was oh, sitting waiting yeah. for a funny a moment. Shit. 
Dude, when she and called it just Brid- never came. when she called Brigitte Nielsen a cunt on her own show, when oh, she had that internet, great. Joan Rivers okay. the fucking is the most vicious Little comic Rick, ever. She Joan is. Rickles trashed Ed Sullivan on his own show. Did you ever see that clip? Genius. Was that going, it for him? He's going, Ed, I love you. You're beautiful, but get your teeth scraped. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Sullivan had these Austin Powers teeth, so you see him yeah. smiling like he's trying to be a good sport, but you see he's livid. And I think he's he knew. Livid. I think he knew he was never coming back, so he just went off. I think it was something. Like Ed Sullivan's wife was in the front row, and they go, "Don't make fun of her," and he couldn't not. So he made fun of her, and then he goes, "Sorry, I love you, Ed. You're beautiful, but get your teeth scraped." And then he handed him the microphone, kissed him on the cheek, and, and walked off. off. That was the last you ever I got to see this. Yeah. Don, Don Rickles is amazing. It, 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 these people, some, but some, some should be. Look, <laughs> they, Roger Cabler. Roger Cable is better than fucking Rich Little. I want somebody to stop putting Rich Little. It's this Rich Little. After a while, you go, this. When is somebody gonna say Rich Little is he, maybe he the was worst? There on Carson in his tuxedo. He came out. You all remember as a kid going, oh look, uh, he's we've done the rich, we've done the bit though. He, 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 Patrice he, is absolutely right. His impressions have always sucked. <laughs> we just didn't realize. <laughs> we just never realized. Rich Little did a fucking. He did a great Carson and a few great ones, but he, he, he did one time a Pink Panther. He, his Pink Panther was oh, so let's bad. Let's get these clips. We're, Dude, we it need, made me yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. He, th- he, thought, he thought Richard Nixon was always going to be funny. He was right. like yeah. doing Nixon in 1990. <laughs> I, I'm not a crook. Well, I'm, I'm not a crook. <laughs> like, doing like college gigs. <laughs> Dumb, college. <laughs> Dumb <laughs> Johnny Carson he would do. I'm a, I'll I'll take Monday off. Oh, 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 what? Oh, yeah, Leno's been oh, in the seat 15 oh, years. He's still doing his job. How about you work on your Jay Leno impression? You're fucking... Uh, He's doing a prom fuck. gig, <laughs> mammy. How I love you. How I love you, mammy. <laughs> just like that. kids are just confused. Simon's, <laughs> Simon's, sorry, girl's best friend. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> suck. Let's get the clips. We need someone on the on the machine because oh, I gotta see the Ed Sullivan thing. I'm Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> 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 you, you dirty rat! You dirty rat! You killed my brother! Oh, there's 18 year olds in the audience. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. The great Rich Little, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for him. But... He's doing fucking Sunni Delhi. Who is that motherfucker? <laughs> He's des- desperately trying to be contemporary. All oh, right. His right. DMX was in Gone with the Wind. It was a little bit like and he this. still turns around. Yeah, and then he comes to <laughs> uh, the person. <laughs> uh, his, I'll tell you, his you know what? You know it's a bad one. Up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> no, you know what's still a really bad uh, one is Robin Williams, Jack Nicholson at the Oscars every other year. Uh, Am I the only g- oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Anytime he's bombing, he he does this really bad. Just uh, I don't know. It's almost as bad as me presenting when he does at the Oscars. <laughs> What's he do? I don't. Wait, wait. Danny's in here. Danny, what, could you find what any? clip? The, the Rich Little. What was doing? The Pink Panther. Oh, the Pink Dude, Panther. Dude, it went right, on right. for too long, and he <laughs> put the jacket on, oh, and then the music with ba doo ba doo. I was like, all right. I'm so glad we're giving it him a beating. It was fucking humiliating. I'm, getting to do I'm so right glad now. we're Dude, giving he, him a beating. I am too. I can't. Dude, he would go like, and then I'm like, solves the crime, and you're like, you don't sound like him. He, he doesn't talk like that. Oh, he only sounded like two guys out of his hundred impressions. Dude, but he wouldn't oh, stop doing it. It was like, how long are you going to be him? Oh, don't find it. I don't as even want to see it. As long as we need to oh, do it. Do we know which one it is? You, any uh, of these clips look for Simon Billy Crystal. Simon Starrick, girl. That's like when yes. Billy Crystal does the fucking oh. black guy. The black jazz oh. guy. After Katrina, a Buddha da boo boo de doo I lost my favorite trumpet. Can you dig it? I knew you could. da da And where was Mr. Bush when we all needed the hip that we shut up? And it goes on forever. Yeah, yeah. Woo hoo! Oh, he thinks he's doing Mudbone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, can we find the Ed Sullivan? Uh, oh, not Ed Sullivan. The uh, Ed McMahon clip. The, uh, the that one might be easier to find. One? Can you stop it? I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> Ed McMahon and Don Rickles. Yeah. There's no Rich Little. We can't find that one. Huh? Can't find it's it yet. Maybe be oh, Rich down Little. The hall, uh, he probably got to take a look. Forty for it. people trying to take his horse Dude, shit off the it's internet. so right, bad. Is this the one? Bill? I'm dying to see how bad that is. This is a Carson Mr. clip. Warmth. Don Rickles. Uh, 
Oh, come on, man. You can't. This is a classic. That's a classic. I'm just going with the music. I like that. This is old school. Yeah. Good. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. And, and Johnny was a funny fucker, too, yeah, man. Hilarious. Yeah. Look when you stood a mighty cuss in our get place. Frog fungus. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to tidy up here. No, it's okay. <laughs> Jews don't work zoos. <laughs> Ever seen a Jewish wine tamer? Never. never. Seen... You never hear Lou Lipschitz in a cage. No, tight. <laughs> We've seen him in a cage, but <laughs> that's another story. Oh, anyway. anyway. A little holocaust. Fine, oh, oh yes. he's, he's been you've been a long time. Yeah, well, you've been busy with other things. That's... <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I heard the other party's story, and well, no. well, I'm gonna help her get all we can get. <laughs> By the way, to make fun of Carson divorce. about his divorce yeah. on the show. Yeah, man, come on, dude. Play my premium blend from 10 years ago. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> What's up with no, Chris it's Cross? funny, actually. No, we're good. I mean, it's fucking funny, I think. To actually... No, we're in. We're dude, the in. balls, okay, the right, balls right, to in. do that. To yeah, ball, the I'm balls not... to sit there and make fun of his divorce to his face. Look, Nobody yeah. would make fun of obviously, Johnny's divorce. Yeah, the, obviously, the material's dated, but you could appreciate what the fuck he was doing right, at the time. Right, 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 right. I, thought, I, thought we, I thought we were going to look at what's his face doing the Pink Panther. I wanted we're to see to that. Find that. But I want to see the Ed McMahon of he, And he, the thing about Don Riggles, too, he was righteously that. That's what yeah. is the best thing. But he's just righteously a fucking whatever he's doing now. Right. Was that at the end of the clip, Bill? Because maybe we could move forward and. Get to him. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't bring this up. This one wasn't me. Who no, brought up the I, I, I don't because know. Because you see what he's. He just. I think Danny is Danny. Just decided to put Don Rickles on. <laughs> um, no, we were talking great. about Don. No, we were talking about Rich Little, and he was looking for Rich Little. We also talked about how Don Rickles beat Don the shit Rickles. out of Ed McMahon, who brought it up on the show. I guess you just did. I didn't know <laughs> shit about this. <laughs> Hopi, why did you bring the this scraping up? of the teeth? That's Ed Sullivan. Oh, that's Ed Sullivan. Oh, Ed Sullivan. But you see what he's doing oh, on what you call, and again, mm -hmm. I, I, I love Chris Rock. I'm just, I talk shit about, it's, it's fun, but everybody was jerking off Chris Rock just alluding to De Letterman in his situation. Right, right. And Rickles is just yeah, digging in his ass. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Right so you, just go, just... you see how far we've kind of... Yeah, what, yeah. What's irreverent is this? He's just like you. Fuck! I'm gonna help her get money. And Johnny was getting fucked in the ass by his ex-wife. Oh, oh my it, god! It, you know, and it's 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 just All like you know what's edgy now is so like mm. really did yeah. you just do something? Do you understand that Reagan thing? He fucking did a black joke right up front. You don't see that anymore. No one's doing racial well, humor. Jimmy's still Webster trying to sell it. <laughs> Jimmy's it still trying Webster. to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing stunk. Because I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Jimmy's trying to sell it. It's the context. Not that he says the context. We can all have watched it with no, but Jimmy felt, said it with this heartfelt love in his heart for Don. Du dude, put this on and and, no. the, and the tear in his left eye, <laughs> and it's like this stinks. But I didn't say put it on. It wouldn't be. I said Google it hockey and watch puck. it. It's five minutes. Yeah, I didn't like hockey puck either. Call him hockey. But puck. they couldn't curse back then. You couldn't say douchebag or right. you had a certain limitation that you couldn't. You know, they weren't PC, but you couldn't allude to sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we're stupid. I'm, I want to take care of. I'm swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we can't really find any about, rich little. You talk about Hulk Hogan. His story about Don Rickles is on that last Hulk Hogan hand. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. going up before he shakes his finger and he's going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't one oh, rich shit. little fucking impression on Wait, 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 wait. I got something. Eric uh, T, go to richlittle.com slash voices for the douche chills. Yeah, right, we go right there. Second. Rich Little. All right, this is on the <laughs> letter. Oh, no, hold on. Right, hold on, on pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it. <laughs> hold on to your balls, people. <laughs> what percentage of voices are going to be accurate? Don't, zero. No, you got to give them maybe no, wait, wait, who's, who's he Carol do? Channing. Who's he going to do? Carol He's gonna, Channing. He'll do yeah. Reagan. He'll do Reagan well. He'll do Reagan. Nixon, Nixon well. This? No, no, First no, of I'm, all, I'm everyone this. does Reagan. Oh, yeah. right, hold on. Yeah. There's no one who doesn't Will. do Reagan at this Archie, point. Archie and Edith Bunker. Oh, go. that's going to kill right, Hold on, hold on. He's going to oh. sing the theme oh, song. Yeah, what year is well, this? That's what I'm trying to get at. It's four years ago, so you got to put Only it in Only four years ago? So what impressions oh, would he do four years ago? He's going to try to do some modern ones. Bush. That's what I'm saying. He'll try oh, Bush. He'll try he'll George Bush. Right. No. Clinton, Clinton. I guarantee he won't try Bush. He'll no. try Clinton. Nope. He will do Bush after he does. Hold on, hold on. He's not talented enough to do Bush. He will do Bush after he does. Uh, fucking that Nixon and Reagan. That never stops. Here's what he'll do. Let's make some, let's make some money. Twenty yeah. dollars right he'll now. Do. He'll have. Bu he'll say Bush. He'll allude to Bush and say Bush is not anything like 
the old presidents. Right. When I came he's up, yeah, it get was back to Nixon. The old presidents. I'm will. telling you, he's doing Nixon and Reagan and a little Bush. Yeah. Oh, he looks skinnier, though. I, I bet Reagan. Nixon's giving Bush some advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Don't be a crook. Yeah. Old <laughs> presidents are giving Bush advice. I yeah, we bet, got it. I, I, what else? He, what else? I, I bet he does Bush, though. What else? I bet he does I say Clinton. He was I bet he doesn't do How much? I got Clinton. No, I got you want, I got no. I got twenty bucks that he does. I, I, you know what? He, he, I'm not a gambler, but I will put. I put dude, ten. He, he uh, definitely I, does. I put ten. He definitely does a little Bush. I say I say Clinton because Clinton's an easier impression. But he's to gonna do. do a lot of old presidents oh, to God. get you got, a little Bush. Like, put your money up, motherfucker. Oh, Shut the fuck up and put your ten dollars. I bet he doesn't do Bush. He does fucking Bush. I bet he doesn't. What do else does he do? Give me the ten. I'll give you twenty. We're set. All right, good. We're all set. Whoever, whoever, fucking. No, I don't care if he does Bush. The second he does George W., I am fucking grabbing that 20, motherfucker. That is, I'll, I'll put it in your reach. I'll, I'll let it down, because he's not going to oh, be fucking... Oh, oh, wait, what actors him. will he do? Oh, He'll do Nicholson? No, 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 Nicholson. Oh, don't do Nicholson. Dude. He's not it's four years relevant ago. enough Clint to Eastwood. do Bush. Yeah, he's doing Bush. Clint 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 he Eastwood. has to. He's doing P Bush. He's going to think he's got to do it. Because Clint Eastwood has been... Yeah, Directing. Back in the day, and now he's still around. Dude, he's done every standing president impression at he's the time the president was in there. Bush. Everyone, you lost your money. No, I, it's there. I'm, I'm, I'm really and confident he won't do Bush. Hey, we're in. A, He'll do Dana Carvey's we're church. We're in on this together. Make sure I get a fucking five out of that. <laughs> Deserve something. <laughs> yeah, hands and hands. Well, I got my money <laughs> down over here. here. Yes. Okay, it's the two and two tens. Let's do it. it. Let's right, fucking do it. There's no way. Hold on. What else is he doing? What else would he do? Four years ago, two thousand four. No, 2006. Six. Lucille oh, Ball. Jesus He'll do Christ, Lucille I'm Ball. Finished. <laughs> Christ, I'm finished. <laughs> Lucille Ball. <laughs> Lucille Ball. <laughs> Would it? <laughs> oh, Lucy. Yeah. yeah, it was from 1952, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if he did all barbaric impressions? <laughs> like, this is, uh, these are the Yates children. <laughs> <laughs> completely career-ending <laughs> moments. This is the, AIDS, the African AIDS fly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Uh, uh, Lacey Peterson, ladies he'll, and gentlemen. He'll do Carson. Ed Sullivan. Yeah, he'll, he'll, do he'll do Sullivan. He'll do Sullivan. Sullivan, because he's in Sullivan Theater. Absolutely, I agree with that. Remember this theater? He'll, 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 right, right, right. he'll, he'll do a really, Sullivan really Carson big thing. Shoe. You're right. Ugh. And Johnny. It, he will not do George Bush. You're right. right. You're right. I think well, he's going to be money. hilarious. I think he's going to kill it. Oh, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> <going>. <laughs> now, All right. Right, let's just go with it. Here we go. Oh, no. He looks young, actually. No, he doesn't. Looks good. Yeah. Looks like Todd Glass. <laughs> oh, we got money on a fucking rich little act. Regis, who is Dean Martin? Letterman. You know, I've been doing impressions for a long, long, long time. Have you? And I think the key to staying on top is to keep your act fresh, to oh, come up with oh, new oh, Now, pause. 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 He's going to make fun of himself. <laughs> And do old ones. And do yeah, old ones. Of is course. That, because I it, have not done that. He, he'll say something like, I have not done this that. This is Burt right. Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> if he'll be raped. But he's like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> Burt Lancaster. Lancaster. I, want that, I want that money, man. It's so Spiro dumb. Agnew. It's All right. It's Spiro Agnew. It's done, man. <laughs> so done. He's calling himself out, but he's not going to do new ones. All right. Nelson yeah. Rockefeller. Yeah, you could be right, the agenda. No, you could be himself. right. Nope. Go ahead. Like Dr. Phil. I know that 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 you know that that I know that 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 you know. And if you knew that I knew that, I lost. then oh, then oh. then we both would Fuck. know if if we knew. That, but they that that that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That I was wasn't wrong. I'm gonna tell you it, it stunk, and I'm gonna tell Thanks. you why. <laughs> it really, it I'm really gonna really tell bad. you why it really I did. fucking lost. Because he doesn't care that he stinks. He doesn't care. He never has cared. You're he out. Doesn't. Stinks. I've, he's going to do Bush. You're God out. damn it. He's Come not. on. Come on. We got I mean, for just as bad as I thought it was going to be, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I have to agree. That was awesome. You sound like fucking... Oh, 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 Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart. Um, but even he, the jokes uh, yeah. were like, you know, Phil goes nowhere. It, yeah, it doesn't. nothing happens. All right, here we go. Let's right. go. It's a great opener. Fuck. <laughs> what is he talking about? Who's the president? Now, I've done a lot of politicians. Oh, oh shit. I've done people like, like Bill Clinton. I was right. Who wrote me a lot of great material. <laughs> That's horrible. It doesn't sound like him. And nope. George W. Bush. There's my money, motherfucker! 
Jesus, Patrice, he was like 30 God, seconds God, in. God damn. Give me five of that! Woo! But I did, I did, I did submit. <laughs> You know what you are? You're oh, I, something I, rich. I, a, I did. I did submit that he doesn't give a fuck. He that he stinks. Is so why good. he Wait does play, Bush. Play that Bill Clinton. Uh, play again. Clinton again. Hold on. Dead on. Dead on. Dead on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Clinton was so. He sounded bad. more like Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't account, if you don't count the applause that he got when they introduced him, he went into Bush within like thirty five yeah, yeah. seconds of yeah. that. Fuck. But the Clinton. That's so why I don't gamble. So why do not. So bad. Clinton Let, was terrible. Let's hear yeah. his Clinton and, and into his Bush. Because I don't think he does all that much Bush. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. I, I think did you're right. Bill, I did he Bill had Clinton. to do it, though. He does yeah. fuck. You listen he to Daryl. He's doing politician. Fuck. You listen to Daryl Hammond's Bill Clinton. Know, you're like, oh, that's how you do Clinton. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what is he talking about? Now, I've done a lot of politicians over the years. I've done people like, like Bill Clinton. Who wrote me a lot of great material? <laughs> that sounds nothing. That sounds horrible. No, like that sounds Bill like Rich Little just saying something with the name yeah, Bill yeah. Clinton on it. With like a little laryngitis. It's terrible. <laughs> like Indigestion. Bill Clinton. And when he's just talking, it sounds like Andy Rooney. Listen for the Andy yeah. Rooney. Yeah, his voice is shot. If you're an impressionist and your voice comes out like this anyway, you're pretty much done. You're sunk. And George W. Bush. I don't know why the American people are picking on me. I haven't as, done anything. <laughs> not as bad as his Clinton. And it's not as bad. Yeah. He actually uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. You know, my you funny there for some reason. You, I'm you, bad you with this guy. You favorite. should be just picking your own money. Mm. There yeah. should be some money happening. Yeah, I, I get five. It was a pot. Yeah. I didn't know that somebody else was in on this fucking bet. I thought it was ten bucks, ten bucks. But I yeah. yelled if like you 80 wanna, times that I'm in on this. Then somebody got to make some change. Guys, guys, guys. You know I want to see the rest of this. I get 15 of this because the 10 no, has no, changed. No, no, no. i tell you what was fucking up. I owe you 10. Why? I owe you 10 bucks. Yeah, it's not just me yeah, and against your fucking you, 10. Because you guys bet the same thing against me. And I owe, oh, okay. I owe OP so 10 bucks. So you owe bucks. me fucking 10. Hey, yeah. I, I want to see the rest of this. I do too, actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Double or nothing, does he oh, do on, George I got Burns? Bet. <laughs> I got another bet. What? Maybe I might get in there. He Go just ahead. said, you know, he's done a lot of politicians over the years. He did that, and then he goes, but my favorite, and then we cut it off. Who's his favorite? Oh, wow, Nixon. good bet. Do you think it's either going to be Nixon or Ronald Reagan? Nixon. Nixon. He looks like Dude. Nixon. No, it's going to go Reagan. He's going to be too afraid. Shit, the wanna, thing that I screwed his career was he kept doing Nixon. I said Nixon. You bet? I'm fucking nervous. And 10 on Nixon right here. I got 10 bucks on oh, Ronald Reagan. I got 10 on Nixon. Fuck. 10 on Reagan. I got 10 on I got 10 on Reagan. Where's your 10? Just put it all down there. Now I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I'm, no, I'm taking scared. I'm taking uh, this. Nixon. Now whoever Nixon. wins gets that. I'm on Reagan. Reagan. And you owe me 10, motherfucker. I got Reagan. So if he does I both, got it's Reagan a push, too, right? Yeah. You oh, wait, know what? Oh, this money's I got Reagan. Reagan. Bill, and now I'm getting confused. What? You put in 10? 10. Fuck. Reagan was alive when he did this. That might have been a safer bet because Nixon was dead four years ago, I believe. Reagan's Ray easier to do. And Reagan Nixon. with Alzheimer's is hilarious. And it's more... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so fucking Nixon. You know what? Fuck. Reagan's that's more that's topical. Not... Nixon. That's it's interesting because so he because he had Alzheimer's. That might have been a bad fucking thing. Yep. Oh, maybe he wouldn't bring it up. I say Nixon. No, he's still got to do it. It's... This Nixon. is Ronald Reagan, who's now shitting his pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn it, I want well, it. where did her tits go? Yeah, well, I'm too, I'm too nervous, man. I'm too <laughs> nervous. I'm too nervous. Right, let's go. I, I'm, right, I, right. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree slightly. with Bill, though, with, the, with, with Reagan. Nixon. I'm going to say Now Reagan. I really Nixon. can't recall. Nixon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, see, no, you see, all of a sudden, you just started talking about fucking Honduras and everything. <laughs> I remember everything, yes. Yeah, Nixon for the win. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Reagan. Come on, Reagan. Come on, Reagan. But my favorite, my favorite politician by far was always Ronald Reagan. Oh, yeah! Yes, motherfucker! Oh, Ronald fucking Reagan, bitch! God damn. Yeah. I knew it! Yeah. Damn it. Damn. Thank you! Damn. Thank you! Fuck.
Look, Patrice, yeah. give me my ten. I ran out of money. Nice. <laughs> I am fucking making a fortune <laughs> on fucking Rich Little. Wouldn't it be funny? Funny? Shit, but you owe me ten. Where's my ten? Yeah, you owe him ten. You get it from Patrice. He owes me ten. You know what? Anthony probably just watched this. Piece of shit. You're a big Rich Little fan. Thank you. Give me a ten. Thank you, sir. So you you transferred the ten. I owe you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know he watched it last I'm night. Out. They're gonna take him in the back room. <laughs> Look what they did to my yeah. man, yeah. man. Yeah. You can take Rich Little or the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Anthony's Fuck. really. I he am really is happy. Nailing it. Ronald Reagan, please. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Shit. You right, said Nixon? Go. I did, and I switched to Reagan, but my original was Nixon. When so he Nixon. started going, I'm like, he's going to say Richard Nixon. Fuck. Fuck. I, I, and then it was Ronald Reagan. Oh, an upset right at the Excuse, line. I, I, really, no. I don't want to hear your process of winning. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a big victory. That you guess great. one out of two hack impressions. <laughs> it was Iggy or Nicholson. <laughs> it was either going to be. Yeah, it was either red or black. I mean, oh, I didn't like his emotional <laughs> victory lap. Oh, of course, this is great. <laughs> it is. It's just gambling. I won in. I won in. God damn it, oh, right. dude! I was nervous. Nobody Where cares. Where's the fucking waitress? I want a bud. <laughs> Budweiser, please. Ronald Reagan. Deal is showing ten. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker! All right, let's roll this. <laughs> Fuck. We gotta get some more betting going now. Uh, I know. Well, let's listen closely. Right. Might be able to find another one. Yeah, we'll guess in his setups. Oh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> hey, he's doing this Reagan. Well, who the hell are you? Uh, that's a pretty yeah. fucking good Reagan. <laughs> it's a Reagan perfect Reagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get mad. You know, I had a pretty good career, considering the fact that I didn't even finish college. And a reporter over at the Times found out about this. And he asked me point blank, he said, Mr. President, were you a dropout? I said, what? He said, were you a dropout? I said, no, no, I, I was cesarean. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bad joke. Next, next setup, we, we got to guess. That who was he's a terrible do. fucking Reagan, though. Yeah, yeah, one give these guys a chance to win their all money right, back. It's the all right? setup. He's got four minutes okay. left in his bit. Okay. Here. What other voices will he do? Well, Maybe we all pick setup, a voice from the setup. I like the setups better. Yeah, right. let's hear if you yeah, have but I think that's gonna be obvious. No, no. Then he can do the first setup. Like my favorite entertainer. These guys always did setups. Now, Andy Rooney of 60 oh, Hold on. Minutes. Andy Rooney. <laughs> God, how did you not? You should, you should have guessed that earlier, man. You said he sounded like him. Yeah. That, that's obviously that. I'm trying oh. to think of a bet for Andy Why? Rooney. Andy Rooney. He will say, you ever notice? <laughs> yeah, he'll say, you ever notice? I'll bet he does something about uh, pancreatic cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Andy I'm telling yeah, you, we should nothing. just go with voices he's still You can survive do. lymph node, but pancreatic <laughs> kills you. Why? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if he was just really inappropriate? Like, here's Andy Rooney being raped by a gang of spicks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he say? There's an unclipped cock in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. No, he wouldn't say, he'd be saved by Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice how foreskin will hold gonorrhea more than an uncut, than a cut cock? <laughs> you ever notice that? <laughs> you ever have guys fucking your mouth and bottom and yelling at each other in a foreign language? <laughs> Seems I remember nobody could put that on the internet. <laughs> Shit. Should we should we try to guess like what other voice he'll do? Yeah, because I don't know Andy if they're going to be like my favorite entertainer. Walter Cronkite, maybe another news uh, guy. He'll tie it in. Well, we have to now. Have to, oh, I like I, that. I like I news like, guys. I like setup. I, right, set up. I don't but we don't know if it's going to be set up. <laughs> I, I, right. I think the bit I might be first. Who, what he at, does first. Exactly. Everyone figures out a voice, and whoever's voice and whoever's he does first, first like gets the money. Damn, that's going to take long to think of. I'm, I, well, you just need a few. Minutes. I got to go, Nicholson. I'm going to go Fuck. after Andy Rooney. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, well, let's all do this. I'll, I'm going to go Tom Brokaw. Wow. 
I, I say are, Cronkite. You are fucking losing at you're, Tom Brogan. Right. Cronkite. Right. You're right. taking a long shot. I'm Let's trying to think of somebody contemporary that's easy to do. Because he is trying he's to be trying, relevant, but, but he's dipping into oldness. His granddaughter could have tried to teach him in the town car <laughs> exactly. ride over. This is Anderson Cooper. I'm going with Tom Brokaw. <laughs> or Larry $10. King. Do you want to do Larry King? Well, everyone come up with Dude, a I say Cronkite. I like Tom Brokaw. Thank you. Bill. Cronkite. Thank you. I'm going to say Nicholson just because it's one of his benchmarks. Next one? Right. No, not next one, but before we're any of the ones you're saying. Oh, okay. I think he's going to avoid it's, with, it's oh, before oh, what you're oh, saying. Okay, okay, okay. So, so everyone just come up with a, a oh. name, and, and if whoever gets... Eddie Deason. Right, how much is this bet? Five bucks? <laughs> ah, let's go. Because everyone's in. Let's go a thousand. $1, well, we're $1. doing Nicholson. No, he's doing... Uh... You have five I can borrow. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Sophie. So <lame. laughs> I'm so lame. The only I day say, I need money, I don't have it. I say Cronkite. You say Cronkite? I do. I'm saying Nicholson. I'm, I'm saying Brokaw. Be, uh, before. And says, who's he doing now? This is Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. So he's kind of, I think he's going to say it to other fucking news guys. News guys, whatever. you think? Yeah, I think okay. so, man. Who That's do you think, Yeah, Bill? Who's that guy who used to do the, the puppet with his with his thumb? Senior Valensis. Yeah, he's going to do him. With Tobo Gigio? <laughs> <laughs> Tobo Gigio. Uh, I'm going to piggyback. I'm, I'm going to go with Tom Brokaw, too. You all right? I'm all right. You all right? You all right? I'm going with Tom Brokaw, too. Wait, that means you're going to split my money if I win. Does no! Do I got nothing. All right, oh, he's going yeah. to do nothing. Pam Dauber. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean Jack Nicholson. You stole my brain when you said Jack Nicholson. Like I, I, now I don't know what well, to even we'll say. Come up with one. Yeah. Just to be <laughs> but where'd you hide it inside something small? I bet. Do you want? Uh, do you want Nicholson? I'll, I'll give. I'll give you Nicholson. I'll give you Nicholson because I'm. I'm changing mine. Oh shit! I'm not going to take Nicholson. I don't want Nicholson. It's just that. I'm, 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 here's what. 2004. I'm trying six, to think six, of six. Two, Oh, six. I'm sorry, 2006. Might make a difference. I don't know. Maybe 2006 is Maybe is doesn't. what? That's what you have to. That's why he's going to do great. Homer Simpson to, try to, to get the kids. Shit. Homer Simpson. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, that's Bill Burr's got Homer there Simpson. There we go. Damn, Homer, that's Homer a good Simpson. One. That's strong. That is a good one. Right, Homer, strong. Fuck taking fuck. Nicholson. He needs a bit to you bring him back to the kids. What was a big? Uh, what was a big movie in 2006? That's what you got to figure out on your own. Yeah, can't can't be doing any research. Don't do any research. Patrice, what do you got? Is it five dollars a man? Ten dollars? Where we do? I'll put in ten. And if and if he does a setup here, then we could do some side betting as well. We'll do ten bucks. Here it is. I think uh, I say Nicholson before any of the ones you guys said. Okay. And that's what we got. You got Homer before any Homer. of the ones I we said. I saw you play this tape before the listeners fall asleep. Yeah. At this ready? Point. Yeah. No, I think they're in. Ready? Yeah. I'll say, ready? They're in on this I one. I say Cronkite. Fucking Don Colio. Don Colio. He'll do fucking Marlon Brando. Oh, oh, shit. I, I like that. All right. That one this is a winner takes all. I have fucking... to wait. Give me a 10 back. This is. Uh, but what about my two fives? <laughs> Boo, they learn fast. All right, now how does this work? Because so it's, it's, he might do two. Two people might be right, so that's the first guy's right. First guy. or nothing. It's all or first nothing. Guy. First it's all or nothing. Guy. Right. It's whoever, whatever impression comes up first, and if it goes I'm, to the end without it, but it won't, he will do one of these five. My, my tent's coming. I'm how in. is there $42 in. in there? How dumb are we? <laughs> 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 these each. motherfucking crooks. <laughs> my tent's coming, so it'll be 50 I put my to the five. Winner. There was, if we I go put, five. I put a oh, five yeah. and five yeah, singles. Yeah. Ten. Oh, no, so I, put, ten. I put. I took a five and put a ten in. Here's I put five and five singles. So yeah. Thirty-five dollars there. Thirty-five. We're doing ten each. Yeah, we're doing ten each. Yeah. Oh, we're doing ten oh, each. Oh no, no, five each. Ten. Ten. Oh. Ten. Oh, ten. Really ten. doesn't ten like to gamble. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm to lower the like minimum. This. But Patrice is already in. Here's You're my in deep already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that Kenny for the borrow? Kenny, oh, he's back with the money. Kenny's bankrolling Opie. Kenny's bankrolling Opie. It's my fucking ten. All right, Danny, you wrote everything down, right? All right, yeah. Set this up, Danny. What do we have? Let Danny set this up. All right. Well, so the person to win this pot will be the one to have the next impression that Rich Little does. Yes. Before, Before the next, so it doesn't matter if he does two. Whatever the first one was is the winner. Okay. Yep. Ope has Tom Brokaw, mm -hmm. and has Jack Nicholson. Jim has Walter Cronkite. Uh, Patrice has Marlon Brando as Don Corleone, and uh, Bill has Homer Simpson. Okay. You know what? I, I, I have I, Marlon Brando as any character. Will you at least give well, me that? I, no, yeah, yeah, Marlon yeah, Brando. He might go Stella too. Yeah, you could go Marlon Brando. Okay. Okay. You know what? I, I purposely didn't look at the phones. One we was an obvious choice. Schwarzenegger. Motherfucker, oh. and I'm saying it now because everyone's bets are in. He won't. That's a that's a that's a big one. Fuck!
in 2006. That's a huge and one. And he's governor. And that's he's a governor. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. He's Shit. the governator. So who said? <laughs> did you? What, did you change your bet? No, I'm just saying. You can't change. You can't. It. You can't. You can't. Said, no. Oh, you're reading the fucking thing. Fuck no, that. you didn't. You <laughs> didn't <laughs> said that. I just said, said I didn't read on purpose, and now I'm doing it for the holy oh, shit moment that we just okay. got. Oh. All right, we're no all one in. got Schwarzenegger. We're all no, in. I got Brokaw. Danny said it. I say right. it's going to be the assassination of Anwar Sadat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's roll. Here we go. Come on. Or an arrow. Oh, we need volume. 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 Oh, sorry, Osama sorry. Saddam Hussein. Hopefully the future. And he's always asking questions. A little annoying at times, but always asking questions. Andy Rooney. There's a few things that bother me. <laughs> That's good on. Why do they sterilize needles for lethal injection? <laughs> Pause, pause. If he said, because only fags are getting AIDS, if you know anything about it. <laughs> and a bunch of dope users, who cares if they're dead? <laughs> Seems I remember you could fuck a man in the ass without dying. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. Bill Burr's Andy Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> no, he starts off It's high. the end of the... I was just going to Seems I remember. Bill does the end of the Andy Rooney thing. All right, let's roll. Come on. Why did kamikaze pilots wear helmets? I don't understand that at all. Here's something else. If an ass in the grass is a snake, then why is a grasp in the ass a goose? I don't get that at all. Move on. Right. Move right. on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Come Roll on. the dice. Come on, Nick. Choke a smurf. Yes. What color would he turn? <laughs> Enough about the Andy Rooney. Do some money here. Come on. Come on. Move on. Please move on. If you uh -huh. OD on Ooh. Viagra, how would they get the cough and lid closed? Boner truck. No one said Nixon, though, huh? My These are things to think about. They really are. All right, here we go. Here Nixon we go. killed his now, career. Now, Johnny Carson. Johnny there you Carson. Go, Carson. We're you know, all a lot of people always. think that Johnny Carson came easy How for me. This is not true. No one picked At first, Carson. I had trouble doing Johnny huh. Carson. This is back in the 70s. And then one day, I was out at the San Diego 18. Zoo, <laughs> and I was looking at the ostriches. And I suddenly realized, that's how to do Johnny Carson. <laughs> think of an ostrich. Very physical uh, comedy mm -hmm. we're watching out here. Very physical mm -hmm. comedy. Translates well. You might close with Carson. Jesus, come on. Come on. Quiet, quiet please. <laughs> a home run and a triple. A first baseman's glove, a catcher's glove, and Dolly Parton. Oh. Dolly <laughs> Parton. Oh, he is good. This was an actual joke from 1973. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Name two big hits, two big mets. <laughs> oh, yeah. we're running out of time. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Uh, we all split, split pot. I hate this split pot. And no one picked Carson. Now, his voice has changed, too. It's like, he, his Carson was amazing, but his voice is growling. Like, there's yeah, certain things, graveling a, an impression this can't overcome. That's nice and anticlimactic. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, take, my I'm taking my 10. Fucking 10. Give me ten two fives. Back, Thank you, Bill. Someone better I make some change, motherfucker. That's right. Oh, my goddamn 10. Why don't we take a quick break? Uh, Patrice is going to be at the Miami Improv this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And uh, Bill? Sunday also. Sunday? Sunday? Yeah. And Bill, you just hanging in when you got uh, anything going I'm on? I'm doing the uh, Park West Theater, Chicago, Illinois. Sweet. When? Uh, sorry. Friday, July 23rd. This Friday? Yes. Okay. And I'll be in Atlanta at the Punchline at the end of the month, 29, 30, 31. Perfect. Is it 10? Got an all-star uh, lineup today, man. Of course, Jim Norton. Of course, Patrice O'Neill. And now Bill Burr stops in to say hi. How great is this? Ah, uh, fantastic. It's out. Oh, the Bill Burr. Fuck. What'd you do? You hit your knee on something there, I see. My kneecap. Yeah, that's normal. I have a big, huge piece of equipment, so when you, you slide your chair in every time, you got to fucking... Uh, it is here. I think I just split it in half. Anyway, Bob, Bill Burr was saying that he had a 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on the air. Huh? Had what? Hold on. Uh oh, he's writing something down. I don't want no, to he was nah, no, because nah. he started yeah, out yeah, of just. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. why I wrote Jesus, it down. Jesus, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> exactly. You don't remember he's saying is the mic off? Well, that's why I fucking wrote it down because then I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. I don't blow up spots anymore. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm being a little smarter. <laughs> it's a great story though. <laughs> Oh, that, that's <laughs> awkward for everybody. Yeah. Right. It's not uh, as good as this YouTube video. There yeah, we thank go. you, Bill. There we go. Bill Burr was telling us that he found a fine video clip called Best uh, Best Wrestling, wrestling Promo, Promo Ever, Ever. starring uh, this guy, Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. I'm judging, I'm guessing that it's, it's from like the 80s, and this is before Vince McMahon sewed everything up, so it's an independent uh, wrestling thing. I don't know, I don't know where at. But this guy is. This uh, is legit. So basically, what it is is this guy jumping Jeff Farmer. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna promote his jumping show. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Jumping Jeff Farmer. He's gonna promote his big wrestling match coming up on the Saturday. He's gonna do the Ric Flair thing. Now well, let me tell been... you something. He's supposed to be doing that shit, and he, he it might have a little bit, a uh, little bit of a tough, tough time. We, we've all been spoiled by the uh, professionalness of the wrestlers and uh, how how they're able to rock the mic and really get on there and ad lib and talk. And uh, this guy apparently doesn't have the skills. He's still in the, in the development phase. I'm oh, not, okay. not going to judge his entire career. But. <laughs> All right. Do we got Sam in here? He's a wrestling expert. Sam is a, an expert. Maybe I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sam. Uh, uh, will he come running down the hall with those floppy feet? You know, we've we got to promote that Kevin Smith's calling the show today, too. Oh, yeah. show just keeps getting better and better. Oh, my God. He tweeted a while ago that he's, he's sleeping on his phone right yeah. now so so they wake him up for the uh, the interview today so uh kevin smith in about 15 20 minutes Very all cool. right let's check this out best wrestling promo ever earlier we talked to jumping jeff farmer let's go now to that interview folks there's jumping jeff farmer jeff a while back what a match you had with motley yep Probably the hardest match I ever had right, in my pause. life. <laughs> when things aren't my, going my way Motley Cruz, you turn the tables on me. You turn the tables in a wrong way. You got me mad now. I've stood around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force. <laughs> Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now let's do it. <laughs> Jumping is, Jeff? That guy is the worst. That is the worst intro ever. Oh. You got your ass kicked last week. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Motley Cruz. <laughs> I just love the panic force. on his face. Like he looks like oh, he's gonna fuck, piss that's himself. That's what I was supposed to. I was supposed to go on with this shit. He looks like he's gonna piss himself. <laughs> what man? That guy Someone's sucks. saying he played the fake Sting at one point. Is that true, Sam? Oh, really? Does he look so. familiar? I don't think so. He never had a career in wrestling, no, really. So. A, a... Someone was trying to say he's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. The the, <laughs> the W whatever the whatever that is. I'm in the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, he's in IPW. Don't Might fucking get IPW Sam though. started. He'll he'll school you yeah, on this Sam, shit. I thought you knew everybody. The, 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 the Did we find a wrestler you don't know? Now. I've stood around. I've listened to every. You know that guy? No, I didn't. You don't know that guy? What are you doing? Thing you had to say. I didn't know he was a Honda. I did everything I necessary. Oh, give a listen. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. <laughs> this time, I'm going full force. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now <laughs> that guy's classic. <laughs> that guy's classic too, by the way. <laughs> by the way, all wrestling promo bloopers are <laughs> it's just genius. Fucking great. <laughs> Kim Patera. It, it, it's just That's fantastic. Are there some bloopers out there? Oh, yeah. Dude. Have uh, you ever seen the one where Booker T calls Hulk Hogan the N-word? And then he <laughs> grabs his head because he's humiliated? Let's find well, it. Well, Hulk Hogan calls yeah. Tony Atlas uh, Black Boy. Like when he was doing, <laughs> really? back when he was uh, Thunder Lips. Uh, well, this, one, this one's great. <laughs> the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. What's the tugboat one? We right, take what we want, and after we take that Kruger and the giant, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. 
I should point out the pressure. Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. Guy puts his hands in his like, T. Like, puts his fucked up. Yeah. The best is when he turns around. He looks at the girl and his crew like, oh, Vince is gonna kill us. Yeah. We take what we want, and after we take Lex Luger and the child, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out the record. <laughs> 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 and Sherry was like, yeah. 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 What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> which he should have been able to say, which is sound good. Oh, We're oh coming for you, nigga, because that's in his character. <laughs> uh, uh, that's fantastic. Wrestling promo bloopers right, are genius. Kim Patera is genius. Lex Luger's genius. There's a Lex Luger blooper right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Macho Man play, Luger. Let me play the Lex Luger one. We take what we want. We take Lex Luger. We want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. The best part is he goes to cover his face, and then he makes it look like he's rubbing his hands together. He's like, uh -huh. Like he knows he fucked up so bad. But then he's thinking, maybe this will fly after all, so I gotta cover up that he just fucked up. The whole time he's got his chest, his pecs doing that. Yeah, his pecs are moving up and down. <laughs> this one, this one's good because it's taken like when they do SmackDown, they tape it to rebroadcast and they edit it sometimes. Yeah. But if you have a satellite dish, you can pick up the satellite oh, the feed, feed and watch it live. Perfect. So they got the satellite feed of Hulk Hogan just completely like Fucking starting up. over and blowing it. Yeah. Like, okay. The Hulkster again. Oh, he messes up in front of the whole crowd. And you know, McMahon, the fact that I had something to do. With building this company just makes you sick. The fact that I am the one that put this company on the map and helped you make it what it is today, that makes you sick to your stomach, brother. Yeah. And all those weird jets that you have, all those billions of dollars, the houses that your kids live in. The twenty million dollar vacation home and blah 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 blah. blah. Just shut up because of these maniacs. Shut up. <laughs> I can Vince. Kiss my ass. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking Vince. Let me tell you something. I think you're starting to believe in your own bullshit, Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had anybody play the part of Hulk Hogan. I could have had anybody bring Hulk a man. Hold on one second, McMahon. You actually think anybody could have ran with Hulk a mania? Look at all the guys you gave the ball to. Look at all the guys that had the belt. Look at all the guys that ran to the goal line. Nobody ran as hard and as long as I did, McMahon. Uh, 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 it sounds like a real argument. I, I, I know. If actually. you actually think if you actually think I was just the right guy at the right place at the wrong at the right time, uh -oh. let me say it one more <laughs> time so you completely understand. <laughs> if you actually in believe in your mind, if you actually think that I was just the right gay guy <laughs> at the right place at right the right gay. time, well then you're a bigger delusional bastard than I thought you were, McMahon. Ooh. The right gay. The right gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cockamania going wild. <laughs> you know what I say right now, McMahon? Right now, we just settled this. They're waiting for somebody to yell cut. I had a match yeah, yeah, with yeah. The Rock a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he's just babbling. And you were the one that I wanted to get in the ring. You were the one this that was supposed stinks. to have a match. Really does. Holy a mother of, of God. It goes on forever. Damn. Together. Sam, what happened? happened? This is Why would you do a, this, Sam? This is a, I put the this good ones fail. on. Right. That was a good We're losing one. them, man. We got a good bit here. Right. Like, We're losing them. You, you go with a fucking yeah, four man. minute. Yeah, they really did mess up, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is. <laughs> Sounded like a regular promo to me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is good. All right, let's go blue. Uh, he said this is good. You better make up with the. It's like Sluger. Right. And the Kempatero one, dude. Yeah, that, that's that one next. All right, Lex Luger. Uh, Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger, I saw what just happened out there with Ron Killens. I just want to ask you, I mean, what are your plans for the next show, Super Bowl Saturday? I mean, are you, are you going to take care of Ron Killens? What kind of disgusting, despi despicable lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show book at a match for the total package Lex Luger and Super Bowl? 
Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? <laughs> Can you afford to pay me to wrestle around? I don't know. I'm one of the biggest legend stars ever in the... God! <laughs> he can't and get his shirt off. And you too tight too, Billy! And you book a match with me? That's right, Keelans! Look at me! I'm a total package! I will rip him apart! I'm pissed now! <laughs> he fucked that up. Oh! I don't think I'd... That stunk royally. Even the interviewer, he has his whole costume on, but his voice is just regular. Yeah, yeah. regular voice. Come to the point. What's that? What's that one, Sam? This one's Kim Petera with fucking Gene. The Intercontinental title for less than 48 hours what? can be quite so cocky, quite so. Come to the point. The conspiracy is completely it's really hard, out of hand. Can hear. He turned his gang of henchmen on me. His goon squad: King Kong Bundy, King Harley Race, Hercules Hernandez, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Yeah, I've been humiliated before. So I'm so humiliated right now, I'm afraid to turn my back. I don't want the people to see what happened to me. They whip me like a dirty yard dog. And I'm going to tell you something, Weasel. And the goon squad. I can take pain. I can recover it. Or recover. I can recuperate. Oh, so I'm fuck. beyond that. I am so... Watch Gino. Gino is the best. That are going on the world record federation. Gene. I think he was laughing when he said dirty yard dog. It's just a matter of time. Like I said before, and I said it to you, Mean Gene, I said it to everybody. It's just a matter of time when Ken Patera gets in full gear and runs the World Wrestling Federation, <laughs> or rids the World Wrestling Federation, of the likes of you, Weasel, and King Kong, Bundy, Ray, Hercules, Warn uh, Warndorf, all of you. You're all going to go down one by one, and I'm going to make sure of that. For the whipping that you gave me, whip me like a red-headed... Red <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. Look at Gene, dude. <laughs> He's he's just starts cracking up. Whatever you guys want to do, just bring it on. He has to turn around. Like I say, I'm going to carry these stars for a while, but I do hear, and I hear well. All right, what a beating he took. It's a little too visual because me and Gene are just laughing his fucking ass off. it's a shame. This someone's been... Oh, this is... This is really good. There's a couple things coming in. Botchmania on YouTube and Shockmaster. Yeah, Shockmaster. 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 You've seen it before, I think. Shockmaster. Shockmania is very visual, but uh, oh, okay. I this... had ten laughs in my life. <laughs> Shockmaster is up there. Shockmaster's yeah. in. Right, we'll it might be in the top five. Right, we'll get wow. that. Shockmaster. Right. This is my favorite one. It's Psycho City. He doesn't realize he's live. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> the offense, but there are a lot of skeptics that think that perhaps you can't take it. How do you address those skeptics? Well, the skeptics and all the people have a little bit. Of... Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. <laughs> it's live, pal. Get their answer tonight. Well, there you hear it, a man. A few words, Psycho said back to you, John. <laughs> Ted DiBiase is like this idiot. Uh, you're live, pal. He just asked, let me do that again. Yeah. He's coming, be coming for him, though. A man, a few words. A few stubborn words. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the Shockmaster. What is was, the uh, Look, man. What's the setup on this? Basically, they is were supposed to... Is this a good to... version of it? Oh, Ric Flair's the best. Yeah. They were supposed to... Uh, they had a mystery partner, and he was supposed to be like the next big uh, good guy in WCW. Yeah. And uh, he was supposed to bust through the wall, oh, no. but nobody told him there was a support two by four under, like at the base of the wall. Yeah. So he trips right over the two by four and falls flat on his face. <laughs> this was... and, but you gotta have Sting. The entire thing. Is the funniest thing you ever seen? Sting <laughs> and the bu and the br British Bulldog are horrendous. <laughs> they were supposed to pick this big pump up of the yeah, Shockmaster. Shock but when he fought, I'm telling when when Ric Flair, because he's one of the greatest of all time at this, surrounded by five bums <laughs> <laughs> who are awful, and his reaction to what happens. I watched this 700 times, and, the shock, and I cry every time. The Shockmaster, he was just an old wrestler from the WWE. From, he was Tugboat in WWE. Uh, I remember Tugboat. Except they put a Stormtrooper helmet, <laughs> literally a Stormtrooper helmet wow. that they covered in glitter. Oh, it sparkles. <laughs> it was it was right, Make see. sure you have the, 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 the Sting lead in. I will. So that, this, you know. This was actually so bad. That this guy had a whole gimmick. He was going to be the next main event guy. They changed his entire gimmick so that he was just a klutz that always lost. They couldn't do anything with him. After that. Because of his debut. Yeah. What you have to say is, our partner is going to shock the world before.
because he is none other than the Shaq Weston! Right. The Shaq <laughs> 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 What's up? Wait, 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 don't, wait, 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 don't miss, don't miss Rick Flair. Please right, listen to Rick Flair. We explain what happened already. Oh my God, <laughs> the guy fell out of the wall and then he lost his helmet Yeah, and had to go get it and put it back on his head. And the helmet covers his whole face, so it's like that's a gimmick. His, you don't see it. It rolled away. <laughs> I mean, and it then rolled away. He had his head halfway it. through the wall. <laughs> Trying to grab her he had like a potted, <laughs> glittered, potted plant on top of his fucking head. Do you think other wrestlers laughed at him for this? Oh, or his voice, oh God. Go his back, voice go was back. done. <laughs> his voice was done by a guy oh. off the set who had a live mic. Oh, they didn't shit. tape it. He did it live. So when he trips, you can hear them go, "Oh God!" <laughs> off no. set. That was Rick Flair. When Rick Flair, he goes, because oh let me tell you something. The, the whole, if you, if you watch the whole thing when, at home, you gotta understand the Harlem Harlem Heat, yeah. who would just go 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 He had he was doing a bad promo, and Sid Vicious, <laughs> we just saw Sid again. Vicious was doing a bad promo. Now we just watched two bad promos. British Bulldog and Sting were awful, and Ric Flair had to, this was like the Ric Flair show. Yeah. So he was trying to put this together, and Ric Flair's trying to. But but when when he fell through the wall, Ric Flair went, "Oh God!" <laughs> that fall through the wall is the greatest thing I've ever seen. It takes forever. It falls in slow motion. Did you rewind? I rewind it even further. Oh, yeah. 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 Just how bad the promo is yeah. up to that point. He's right? panicked, grabbing for that helmet. And this is in front of an audience? Yo, Yo yeah, it's, it's is... a live audience, and it's live on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is their big thing leading uh, up to a pay-per-view, uh, live God. television by the pay-per-view, so uh, you can see pleasure, this man. guy make you his debut. This, oh, that was supposed to be his debut. And he this is his debut. And he this is like, this <laughs> is the history of moment. And, and, and make you it perfectly <laughs> clear, they're expecting big things from the Shockman. The main event uh, guy. Sting. Like, maybe the next whole Hulk or something. Did Sting goes, you're in for a shock. Right. It completely changed. Yeah. For the most part, it ended his career. How is that helmet thing going to stay on if he ever wrestles? If he wrestles, he doesn't even think about anything. strap or something. Is this the best clip? The audio is a little low on this. This is the best version. Of it? Yeah. All right. Bear it's with the us. Greatest thing I've ever seen. I yeah. rewound it a little further so you could get okay. something more lead up. All right, All right. good. Awesome thing, it seems to me, if you were as smart as you act like you are, you wouldn't have waited. This is Sid Vicious Bad promo. Yeah. To tell everybody who your partner is. Well, do you want me to tell you right now? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell you? You know they're all nervous because Flair's there. <laughs> Flair is just like disgusted. <laughs> oh my god, they're just yelling. <laughs> That's the British Bulldog I'm talking about. Yeah. Shock the world. <laughs> he sure he is. is. None other than the Shock Master. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I had him tell you. Ah, Disgusting. Go back to play. Wait, that is the worst outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> You have to listen. He's got Captain he Caveman's vest on. It looks like he's wearing a pumpkin on his head. <laughs> the fuck you is have that? to understand that Rick Flair went off. Oh. He said, What the f? Oh, he was like, God. Oh, God. Dude, he's oh, having his gun. He puts his helmet back on. <laughs> Awkward. He's shaking Awkward. his head through his helmet. He's like, I fucked that. He's got to put his helmet on because the other guy's going to do his promo for him. Him, so you can't see his mouth. <laughs> Shock Master Trace. <laughs> it's, 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 it's
it's the, it's in the top laughs I've ever had in my yeah. entire life. Just because it, it, it's like it's not even a regular wrestler's <laughs> game. It's the shot master. And he falls, he falls through the wall. He's supposed to break through. I watched. I watched this. I watched this, I watched this live in 1993. So it's the greatest moment in pro wrestling history. I'm There's never Homie, been a better. If you, you watch the I'm entire thing, it's killing me. There's eight different things that'll make you laugh. Do you, think, yeah. do you think they watch this and just laugh? Dude, oh, yeah, it destroyed his career, man. It did. It completely destroyed, it destroyed his, his career. career. It destroyed now, his career. Not only do you have to, you have to be as quiet as you can That's because so you can hear Ric Flair say, "Oh God,", oh, God. and Listen. then. You can hear offset where he's supposed to, where he's getting ready to do his promo for him. Uh, you can hear them making fun of him. Okay. Uh, just, 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 it's right. hard to. All right, let's try to be quiet. It is hard to be quiet because it's so fucking funny. Keep the laugh to yourself if you can. It's so bad. Tell me, it's the fucking fat gut of vets. So <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, no. so, <laughs> I, fell, I fell through the wall. <laughs> I was trying to drill a hole. I made it too big. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? And we're doing his costume of injustice. Yeah. He had a fur, a giant fur vest that was three quarter length <laughs> with no buttons, a giant sparkly helmet, and jeans and boots. <laughs> <laughs> the shock master and no shirt. Oh, the fuck. shock master. Holy the shit. shock master was oh. an ass. <laughs> <laughs> they literally, after this show, they changed his entire gimmick. He became a construction worker that constantly falls down. <laughs> <laughs> that was his career. Yes. They gave him Bell's palsy. <laughs> <laughs> the stroke master <laughs> keeps having them. <laughs> okay. Shockmaster rules. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this. This again. is the greatest thing I've ever seen. You the do. smoke. <laughs> okay, everybody contain yourself. I will try. Uh, <laughs> we'll try. It's, it's like Big J. It's going to be all I have to say is, all I have to partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than the shock master. Oh god. You hear my boy? Yeah. Now listen to the promo. <laughs> He has, his voice hasn't started yet. You see him. You see him he's motioning mo with his hands. Yeah. And he, his but his voice didn't start yet. <laughs> the guy behind stage isn't talking yet. Right. So he's just motioning like he's talking, like he's a mime. But the worst is none of them said you fell through the wall, <laughs> right. Shockmaster. They're right. still acting like yo. Oh. Dude, I'm actually impressed with this guy to be able to yell without laughing. The shit stinks. <laughs> it sucks. Like, He's so bad. He probably didn't know. He, it's the <laughs> with a he belt. has no muscles at all. He's terrible. He's got a the shock top. producer. He's got a, he's got a tight gap jeans. Yes. I have to have my stomach stapled. I keep breaking the wall and falling. <laughs> I just I wish we could hear the audio better, but uh, oh, yes. that fucking I was funny. trying to nail a foundry logo to the wall. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll pummel you with how cupcakes are made DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> and you got he fell and this is the thing too. If you uh, you see you, he, he fell no hands on his head. Like <laughs> flat on his fucking fucking stupid helmet and his helmet went falling. He's gut down on the fucking floor like a fish. He's like a guy with a sand pail on his head. Oh. <laughs> with no stopping himself. But dude, when he puts the helmet back on, I love the fact that as he's standing there, he has to wipe the ground dirt off his head. Yeah, it's like sheetrock <laughs> dust and ground dirt. And, and look, it's staying his back. All I have to say is, he's calming everybody down. Here's the moment. All I have to say is, our partner's gonna shock, shock the world. The world. That, that guy goes. fucking and explode, oh, It was God. an explosion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big pyro. And, and the pyro was off timing. <laughs> it was a disaster. It was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's so bad. Right. Yeah. I gotta it's see it again, done. please. Does We're he ready. ever get to uh, talk? Yo, oh, yeah. Do you wanna oh, hear him? Yeah. Yes. Why did he think this guy was? Yeah, it's really that, hard to hear. The whole outfit, everything. Even he if does, it wasn't a mistake. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, a good body. That terrible helmet. Oh, shock that All I have to say is, all I have to say is, our partner is going to shock the world because 
He is none other than. <laughs> Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, I'm sorry. You gotta understand, too. If you This was Sid Vicious yeah. and the Harlem Heat. And they were beating up a uh, British bulldog, a stink, for like months. <laughs> right. And this is the guy who, that is going to match the intensity These are the of top, the three guys. The top bad guys <laughs> in the company versus the top good guys. And they had no one with them. And they so need they someone, someone to someone. save the day. And this is the guy they fucking got <laughs> to stop the, the brutal onslaught that Holy got shit. endurance for the last month and a half. I would love to know what they're, what, like, what is the Shockmaster thinking after after his helmet goes on, he's like, I just fell through the wall. <laughs> How humiliating is this? This big moment that he falls through the wall. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see that from behind him. <laughs> Sam, yeah. Some, some, no, Rick, Rick Flair's, oh, God. Yeah. It's oh. the best. Uh, oh, someone God. tweeted that they made fun of this on Raw recently. Yeah. Oh, you're, we get it with the clip. I get you the clip right here. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, yeah. supposedly th they went real inside and made fun of this <laughs> clip on Raw. Uh, it's less than a year time. ago. Yeah, less than a year ago. All right, All right here's one more from the Shockmaster. <laughs> yeah. is going to shock the world because he is none other than the Shockmaster. <laughs> 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 Dude, he just fell. There's no two by four there. He just fell. <laughs> Everybody, man. We got it. You got it. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Wait a minute. This is what he's doing. He's waiting for that guy to start talking. Yeah. And when he yells, he thinks it's his voice. <laughs> so he's actually yeah. pantomiming the guy who's yelling at him. He thinks that it's oh, his vo his uh, uh, backstage voice guy, but it's not. It's the guy who's yelling at him. And he can't even, he can't even pantomime. <laughs> the only... It's this five seconds, which seems like a million years, where everyone... Is collecting themselves <laughs> to pretend that shit did that. The audience, the Ric Flair, the Shockmaster, everybody went, holy Dude, shit. His helmet's so discombobulated <laughs> that he thinks what he's hearing is what he's supposed to be saying. Dude, they're Dude, all. It, but it, it's it literally not... is a, a, a stormtrooper helmet. He got that yes. at a Halloween yes. store. Yes. yes. Not, it's not an exaggeration, it's, it's the stormtrooper. Star stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> With glitter on And then he went to the next <laughs> alley, got the Captain Caveman yeah, fur vest, yeah. <laughs> and kept his jeans I, that he drove to the arena in. I think I heard a better version from the guy that just tweeted me. Hey, man, I, I got I to pick version. up at 945. Oh, I got to go to the airport. You got to go, Bill? Yeah. I, Fuck. Yeah, I gotta fly oh, across Bill Burke came by to say hi, and we appreciate that, Bill. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, going I back to LA. I, 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 will, I will be back uh, next week. Yeah. Next week? Hopefully, yeah. Oh, good. ASAP. All right, Anytime. We'll Bill we'll will be us. back on the show next week. All right, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Burr. Right, Burr. Keep up the podcast. I'm a big fan, Bill, of the podcast. Take it easy, Bill. There goes Bill. They're all looking and going, the Shockmaster just fell through. They all see the whole gig going down the toilet. Could you go back? Could you go to Shockmaster on Raw just see if it's a better clip? Shockmaster. On Raw is is the is the Shockmaster on Raw like that's that's the when they made fun of him, that's not the original Shockmaster. Clip. They have a, a clip of it though in the beginning just to set it up. All right, oh, we could go with this. That, I just it's wanna, just that the audio is. I a just want low. you to hear his promo yeah, now. Let's go. <laughs> But you just felt it. You won't fool the world long enough, Sid Vicious. Get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Come after me, Sid. I'm ready. Do you pause this? Glitter. I, I, I think. He has a glitter stormtrooper helmet. It's so obvious. It's on his chest. It's coming off. <laughs> on his chest. coming off. It's, it's on his chest from when he fell. And he's sweating. And he got that fucking stormtrooper helmet. Sparkles all over. I think it's coming from and why is it? And why is Sid all scared of him? Because he looked all scared. Why didn't he turn around and go, douchebag? Dude, you just fell through the fucking wall. The Shockmaster is a dud. <laughs> and the it, promo is terrible and embarrassing. He to be this brutal villain. <clears throat> this guy from another planet. Oh, oh my God. With jeans and boots and a yeah, fur vest. Yeah. 
<laughs> and 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 this yeah. voice, the first thing you see is him falling. You want a piece of me? I just oh. fell through the wall. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Hey. That well, is so funny. Now, what is the setup on this now? Is this from 19 just, uh, or 2009? Yeah, it was a year ago. They made fun of Oh, see? Much better audio. But he doesn't have his promo on this one. none other than the <laughs> Shaq Master! All right. The Shaq <laughs> I told you. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> You heard someone say, what, did he fall? What did he fall? What did he fall? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. That low voice just that is, What did he fall? That's from backstage. Yeah, that's his backstage voice. Yeah. What did he backstage. fall? <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. He is none other than the Shaq Master! All right. The Shaq <laughs> I told you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's just so bad. It's everything about is poorly done. So everything. The man that moves the world. Oh, this is edited from the original one. To cut out some awkwardness. Oh, yeah. And then one thing I noticed. Yeah, this is when they. Uh, and then Raw uh, did a spoof on it a year ago. Uh, yeah, because they were putting out. What, a, when was the original Shockmaster? Promo? 1993. Wow. Uh, so fucking 17, uh, almost 17 years later, Raw fucking goofed on. That were, is hilarious. Let's see how they goofed on. All right. No, but where's that coming from? I don't know. I, I think it's coming from that wall. Over there. wall. Hey, you know, it sounds like it's <laughs> coming from over here. Yeah. Hmm. Very What? Oh, whoa! Holy Toledo. Did the crap? Did... Yeah, did they anyone even get it? Do <laughs> wrestling fans yeah. love the Shockmaster clip? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If, yeah. You, if yes. you never see it's, the, it's that is out of I remember control. a lot of laughs I had in that Shockmaster. <laughs> That's great. And then there with Dusty Rose, who is one, who's probably in the top five like Mike guys of all time too. Like it, oh. it, it, Dusty and Ric Flair. And Who was the best? Was The Rock the best Mike guy? No, not at all. Not probably not even. He might not even be in the top five. Really, Fuck, man, he was great though. Who he was, was fantastic. Good. Was the Iron guys Sheik on the good? Mic. Dusty, Ric Flair. Ric Flair is better than uh, oh. Roddy Piper. Um, yeah. Hi, my name five. Uh, um, okay. I'm trying to think. Guess that was a, oh, but the Rock I, was good at making catchphrases. How about yeah. Sergeant Slaughter? <clears throat> no. Nah. Um, oh, uh, Jake the Snake is in, in, in the top in the top five yeah. probably, and um, you know, not the, Rock is not in the top five. He's in the top ten. Stone Cold was probably better Stone on the mic Cole, than the Rock. Stone Cold was it's probably that's the five. Right the there. Rock was just good at making catchphrases, <laughs> and then he Dusty's, was, yeah, yeah, Dusty's yeah, the yeah. best though. Dusty and Flair are are are, are neck and neck. They're also uh, saying one. They're also one, saying two. Owen Hart had a really good one, really good blooper. Uh, well, oh, he had the shit. best blooper of all time. <laughs> oh, but <Jesus>. I mean, <laughs> come on. Oh, that's Ooh. terrible. No, 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 I'm saying uh, that damn uh, that goddamn Shockmaster dude. Oh, yeah, that's, that is that's one of the best. That is hysterical. Seen. I like when I'm able to laugh until like I'm actually fucking tears are coming out of my eyes. You gonna try that the Owen Hart one? Funny. <laughs> I just recently stopped watching it, like and, and laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you still watch it with this thing, like wow. He went right on his fucking head. It's his the worst thing that could have happened. The worst thing, dude. Right he, there, and and the helmet falling off, and he scrambles to put it on, and it's so clumsy. And then he's just standing there trying to be tough. Be tough with all the glitter on his chest. His helmet <laughs> fell off. It's not on YouTube. I have to find the audio because I taped it off TV. The Miz, who's like a big star now, sure. One of when he was first in the WWE, they wanted to. They were using him as like a Ryan Seacrest type of host for for stuff. And like one of his first things, he couldn't remember. They were having a diva search, and he couldn't remember what number to text in and what number to call in. And he started looking at his hand for the number, and his hand started sweating. <laughs> and he just goes over, call, uh, text. Uh, it's the greatest. No, no, no skills. Let's see if the Owen Hart's good. Yeah, it's quick. I don't need you with a bad leg doing a Brent. You're too damn selfish. And that's why you're sitting there with a bad leg. And that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked your leg out of your leg. Yeah. 
right, listen. We should uh, break. We got guy. Kevin Smith uh, <laughs> calling in next. Cop out is out. All right. Just go. There's our blooper. Go with it. I'm a nice man. Yeah, I'm an ass man. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love it. Billy Gunn. Wow. A lot of wrestling today. <laughs> I love to kick them. I love to. Whatever. Kevin Smith's calling it, right? What a gay fucking gimmick. Be the ass man. Sing your ass song. Who was all the porn star gimmick that they made stop? Yeah. Val Venus. Val Venus. Yeah, right, they made him stop. Right, right. Is he on? Oh, go to Kevin again. Yeah. yeah. Kevin? No, no more Whoa. porn, no more racial stuff. They stopped all racial shit. Kevin Smith's on the phone. Good morning. Oh, what's up, morning, Kevin? How you doing, man? We're talking about old school wrestling, Kevin. It's been uh, a big topic today. Sorry about uh, making so, like, you wait. Give me the Superfly Snooker wrestling. Uh, yeah, that era. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, that man. Thing. It was. Uh, I feel. I, I was not a big wrestling fan when I was a kid, but my friend Ernie O'Donnell was a huge, and Sam Holland, huge wrestling fans. And where we lived in Highlands, just up the hill between Highlands and Atlantic Highlands, there was uh, these apartments. What were they called? The condominiums, Thousand Oaks. I think it was called. Anyway, it was well known that Sergeant Slaughter lived there because of his a camouflage limousine was always spotted. <laughs> Keep it on low so profile. We would uh, get on our bikes and we'd drive up to the Burger King. wasn't too far from that joint. They had just opened fairly recently. So we'd go there, eat like a chicken sandwich, get some Burger King crowns, then ride back to where we knew Sergeant Slaughter lived, tear up the crowns and spell Gomer on his uh, <laughs> on his doorstep. Could you imagine you're coming home and like you put some stuff together from scratch, you're Sergeant Slaughter, and you're you're, you're feeling pretty good about yourself, and some like twelve year olds have written Gomer <laughs> yeah. on your doorstep. It's so I feel such like such an ass. I apologize, <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. It's it's kind of humiliating for him for him, but also it, it's kind of accurate. Like he kind of knows. That's what he is. So it's know, just you don't need that. Like that'd be like me coming home and somebody used a Burger King crown to spell out "too fat to fly" on my door. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> don't give people break. ideas. Yeah, it's terrible. Really... <laughs> How's everything out there, man? I haven't spoken to you guys in a little bit. It's been a while. Hey, are you going to be at uh, what are you doing at Comic Con? Because me and Sam are going to be out there, and um, we think by the time you're 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 going to actually be doing something, we'll be on planes coming home. <laughs> um, I've got. I've got something on Thursday morning. There's a Batman panel for this book that I've been working on with my friend Walter. And then um, Friday night, there's a party for the sneaker company. Etnies is releasing sneakers based okay. on me or my flicks or whatever. So we're having a big party Friday yeah. night. And Saturday night, there's a big panel that I do every year in the... Um, in the in the hall H, the six thousand seater. So I'm around. What the, when are you there till? Well, Saturday night is probably a really good one. What time is that? <laughs> that is the seven fifteen is the panel, and then after that panel, Jimmy, man, you should stick around, dude, because nobody else is going to be there except me. They're doing a screening of uh, the, the Blu-ray version of Cop Out that has like tons of extra footage in it. I would love oh, to, shit. but we'll be on a plane coming home. You We're taking the red eye out. home. Yeah, they figured why stay the Saturday night. I feel you. I at Comic-Con. Uh, we wanted to stay. Well, Saturday, Saturday night, I've got that panel at like 7.15 in, in Hall 8. That's the big, the big, big room. And then it ends at around it's an hour and a half or something like that. So when that's over, I got a little time between that and the cop-out screening. If you guys are racing off or just any time on Saturday, you let me know. Oh, we'll try on Saturday because we'll be gone by then. They are... Uh... Because they want to save $400. Yeah, hang out at yeah. Comic Con all weekend with the other kids and shit. He'd like to, but the company decides, you know. Yeah, they figure they get us out of the hotel money. real fast and just, you know. A little too much money to <laughs> pay for another day in a, in a yeah. hotel. Yeah. Too much money to do it properly. Uh, Everybody's nice. going down this year, man. A lot of radio stations going down. I guess it's become officially an event that the United States acknowledges. Is accepting <clears throat> now and not just some geeky fucking, right. you know. Oh, here's some autograph, guys. <laughs> I like. Cool. I like when. Yeah, this is not now. It's not just a place to see Lou Ferrigno. Now you can do a lot of things. My absolute favorites are the uh, like the woman that was in the elevator for room for one more honey in the Twilight Zone. 
<laughs> you know, in the room for one more honey episode of Twilight right. Zone. And she got a table. <laughs> yeah, she got like a table <laughs> sign and shit. Really? Like, wow, you're the you're you're her, huh? <laughs> I've yeah. always kind of back pocketed that the the table thing. You know, like we we we've sold merchandise for years, and some of it is signed, but I've never gone to a con and charged for autographs yet. I've always felt like I'm gonna hold that for when people don't care. At all. That'll be my last stop before I'm like, all right, I guess it's time to get a real job again. <laughs> oh, shit. There, what about, uh, where's Billy Moomy been? Yeah. He was in a band at one point, like a band full of comic book dudes. Like, really? Within the comic book community was kind of well known, yeah. In the comic book community, to be that in a band before, that's that well known by the comic started, book community. That was before they started putting comic books on the cover of Entertainment Weekly and stuff, though. That was when, like, if you were doing well with a girl and then you were like, hey, man, you want to do a comic book show with me? And then she started blowing somebody else. <laughs> yeah, is it is it is it like um, with comic books now, like, people go like, oh, well, you just got into it. You're a new fanboy. and. You know, of course, yeah, everybody's there's, into it. There's always been that. I mean, I, I think I said it one year at the Comic-Con. It's like, it's the place. San Diego Comic-Con is a place you go where, like, you know, you could be dressed like Chewbacca. And then you see some people dressed like Vulcans. And you're like, look at those fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just it's a lot of, a lot of uh, no, not self-loathing, because you just loathe other fans, I guess. So there's always been that innate jealousy kind of built in now that you explode the con make it even bigger there seems to be a bit more irritability like last year was the first year i think that all the twilight kids started invading the con twilight yeah, yeah. Had a so you got a lot of vampires problem. yeah oh and they got so upset like and i was like they're girls man for the first <laughs> time we have girls <laughs> you lighten up dummy chase the girls away and uh, you know they're like but they're only tween girls. I'm like, yes, but they have mothers. <laughs> and, you know, they all want, they all want to hurt their husbands for making them take the kids to Comic-Con without them. <laughs> so the best chance to get laid, man, is a Comic-Con bathroom, I did, think. Or did, a parking lot. Do they have a lot of, uh, I've never been to this one. I've been to a couple of smaller ones. Is there, like, a lot of, like, uh, of those weird celebrities at tables at this one? This is, like, the big this one, right? This one's a little oh, yeah. pricier to get into, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's going to immediately kind of uh, limit the amount of people that are going to want to sign up for those signing gigs just because the table space is pretty pricey at that San Diego Commons. Like, I don't know, 800 to to 1000 bucks at one point to get a table for a day. Wow. For a day? Wow. So, so I think that eliminates a lot of people who is like, you know, uh, you know, Bounty Hunter number eight and Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, I, but uh, you'll still get tons of cats out there, you know, because that's where a lot of people make their nut for the year because you have, you know, over 100,000 people closing in on 200,000 people. So you're more um, likely to get an Isaac the bartender um, from uh, the Love Boat. I, I don't know Someone about that there, cal man. caliber. I think that, yeah, I think you would see that more kind of like uh, there's a the Wizard World comic book show does a lot of, of autograph signings now, so maybe you'd see Isaac there. But the, the San Diego Comic Con's kind of place where you'd see like, um, what's her face, Angelina Jolie promoting Salt. Really? Like, how many yeah, of these have you been to, Kevin? Last few years, man. Down. Like it's crazy how many famous Fuck. people have turned out. Like there was one year I was on that con stage and it was like. Um, three people who had won Academy Awards were up there before me. Jesus. And then the they fuck? all come out now. Everybody comes out and kisses the ring. I mean, I think Anthony Hopkins is coming down for for Thor. What, this Hopkins, this year? Dude. It's huge. What, what? Just, they, they all come now because the, 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 it's not just the genre stuff. Like anything mm -hmm. that's kind of remotely summer movie oriented kind of previews here and whatnot. Like I go every night on Saturday H, I kind of close out the evening and just do regular Q&A. But I'm the only one on Saturday that's in the hall that's not a studio. Every every hour, two hours, it's studio presentations. It's like Marvel Studios, Warner Brothers Studios, and they bring all their clips, and they bring out really famous people. Wait, this, this, what, now when does this happen that where all the famous people come out? It started happening probably like within the last eight years, hardcore. No, but what day, uh, though? What's that? What day does this happen? Like, what night is this? Uh, Saturday. You'll see a lot of that. Saturday in Hall H is the presentation. Like, uh, all the studios make their presentations. On Saturday night? S all Saturday long in, in okay. that hall. So the place for you to be, man, would be, like, backstage, because that's where everybody comes in and out of. There's an elevator there and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to get back Ooh, there. Jimmy. I don't know if we have that access. The access? Oh. 
Do yeah, who knows? We, 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 right we, now. Hey, not right now. We don't. No, bye. Can I, can I go back to Bill Moomy? Yeah, man. I just realized someone helped me out, and then I had to Google it. He did fish heads? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't involved. fucking know that. The yeah. band was yeah, called Barnes and Barnes, right? Part of that group that did fish. Yeah, I've always. I yeah, that was really... that was little Billy Moomy. I had no fucking idea until right now. I learned something today. You're a bad man. I always try to figure out who <laughs> did that song. And, it, and you it, were all it, dismissive of Bill Moomy. Meanwhile, this dude gets more pussy than you've ever gotten. Oh yeah, well, I don't doubt what it. What about the second plates, dude? It ain't. It wasn't just lost in space. Bill Moomy was like, "Fuck you, fish heads." That's my second. All right, <laughs> listen. We know fish heads. What was the second most popular song that he did? Second wow. most popular? Yeah. Lucy and Ramona and Sunset Sam. There you go. That was a real guess, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was Michael Nesmith, actually. You I know who Michael Nesmith was, right? Of course, yeah. But that yeah. dude didn't even need music to get rich. He, his, what was his mom invented? Um, uh, Whiteout. Whiteout. Yeah, but that yeah, fortune's got to be gone in this day and age. You think so? Yeah, who uses fucking Whiteout anymore for anything? Well, they probably point, went into man. other areas, though, eh? Michael Nesmith is just like, no! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck, my <laughs> fortune is going away in the digital age! The computer is evil! How will I buy new hats? <laughs> new wool hats! I need to know the follow-up to fish heads now. I really need to know. Somebody's got to know or Google it, man. It's going to be a, a major drop-off. Bill Moomy was in the uh, remake of uh, Lost in Space. Uh, at the end, the name, what was the name of the band though that did Fish Heads? It was something in some Barnes and Barnes. Yeah, I had to look that up. It was Barnes and Barnes, 1979. How yeah. you doing, Opie? Can't kill Bonds. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But... I'm a big fan of Opie's Eye feature. Whoa, Whoa. Kevin Smith well, saying that? Uh, you know what? You cannot put that in quotes. You cannot put that in quotes. I'm a Twitter creature, dude. I'm gonna fucking put that in quotes right on everything I do now. Put it on like quotes, it. Uh, Kevin yep. Smith. Kevin, I uh, became a father, so I'm in a different world the right fuck now. Fuck out of here! When was that? Uh, well, not that big of a fan of my Twitter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, just by well, Apparently, you're not taking many pictures of kid on. Open no, no, no. I'm. Uh, he's a, he's a civilian. He's dumbass shit! Like, look at this baseball field. Yeah, no, he's a civilian. <laughs> I know you're right. Uh, you're keeping him out the Twitter camera and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Good he's call. he's a private thing, but um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah, everything else is. No, I feel it's just funny terms. Uh, I, uh, uh, Mother's Day, yeah. became a father, so a little over two yeah, months ago. Man. That's the absolute first. Yeah, yeah, that I know of. Like? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> that, that old gag. It's great though. It's uh, these guys get bored when I talk father shit. So, but uh, did, you did you cut the cord? Did you pull it out and all that? Yeah, I didn't want to cut the cord. It was like I don't need to fucking cut the cord. But then when you do cut the cord, you realize it's some kind of weird ligament thing that you can't cut through easily. I know every dude says that because they tell you like they give you a big pair of scissors and like go ahead one cut and you try and we're just not used to cutting. No, it's like meat cutting grizzle or something. Like it's right. like a bolt cutter. So you could it just is. It's weird. Like it. and you go for it and like I I tried to do it in one and only got half of it. And the doctor, who was a chick, looked at me like, you puss. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. So I started gnawing on it with my teeth. I was like, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Old school. And I got to congratulate uh, Kevin's devils because uh, they got a big one yesterday. Big, big. It's so You know how big it is on the Internet? This is how you can tell, dude. Every Devils fan in the world excited. Every other hockey fan like, Pete didn't help you in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> Sour grapes. What's his That's name? A huge score for us, man. Uncle Lou actually paying for a star for a name. Seventeen years. Come on, That's seventeen years, one hundred and two million dollars. Mm -hmm. He'll be there till he's what forty two, forty four. Fuck. These days, but I mean, what? I mean, come on, sports contract. Seventeen years. It's like. That's Jesus. charming, but, like, does anybody really think he'll be there for 17? 17 Let me, years? Come on. I'll talk hockey with Kevin for a second. It worked for us, our Islanders, and DiPietro, oh, <laughs> when he true, signed that true. big fucking deal. Holy to, shit. To fucking be on the DL? He's played, like, five games in three years, yeah. something crazy like that. He's... Yeah, we got to hope that we're not kind of overpaying. But, uh, but if I keep being assured by people who, like, really know hockey who are like, hey, man, don't judge him on his playoffs performance. Dude was having a kid, and he's not a playoffs player. Like, this guy is, he's a 50 goal scorer, man. He's just like, you got to put him out there during the season. That's when he's going to shine. It's a fucking animal, and the devil's got him for 17 years. Jesus. That's nice. It's, it's a brand. Can you feel a brand new day? It's <laughs> 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 the end of the Wiz. There's a bunch of black people dancing for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's like, dude, that doesn't happen to the devils normally. It, it looked like he was within country or going to the fucking Kings. And it was like, well, of course he's going to go to the Kings. Because they'll fucking spend. Now Jersey's got a star, man. That's kind of cool. That is very cool for you guys. And he can play right next to fucking Zach Parise. Zach Parise's got somebody to pass to like crazy.
Unfortunately for the Devils, no one really seems to give a shit when they win, <laughs> the, uh, like the Cup. You know, it's, it's not like the, I know we got like when the Rangers our... win, they got a parade and everything. The... Well, well, no, 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 no. People care, but there's nowhere to put a fucking parade. Yeah, that's, that's, the that's, problem. that's just it. It's How do you like, compete yeah, with the Canyon of Heroes? We were playing at the Meadowlands. This time we play in Newark. There'd be a parade in Newark. Yeah, that's true. They yeah. had to go around the parking lot or something. Yeah, I think yeah, if yeah, I remember. Yeah, so much shit for that parking lot parade. How many armored? How many armored personnel carriers does it take to cart a team around Newark? Newark's better. Shut up. Newark's a little better. Shut right, Kevin? Yeah, it's, clean, it's cleaner and safer. Oh, is it? actually talking up <laughs> okay. to the Devils and to the Rock about holding a, uh, a street hockey tournament outside in Newark on the streets around the Rock, closing off the streets, setting up these courts, and then having this tournament be outside. You see, that would be cool. Right? Right yeah. in Newark, man. Bring a hockey stick to a gunfight. Cool. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> say, Get out of your mind, man. It's like any place else in the world. It's like the town I came from, man. It's like there's a the section you want to be in, a section maybe a little careful, but more careful around. Yeah. It's like any place else. All right. Well, then Camden. What's the good place in Camden? Camden's got that zoo, man. It does. The aquarium. See, he had an answer for you. It's just the aquarium because, is really just because those yeah, people don't swim. It's, it's, it may be terrifying. Jump in the water. The aquarium, uh. But the aquarium is nice. They got penguins. <laughs> they got penguins. Make sure you, <laughs> and the penguins are still alive. Make sure your GPS is working properly when you go through Camden. Because <laughs> one or two wrong turns and it is a different world. Uh, doc, said every place. Uh, uh, yeah. Doctor Steve coming in with the follow up to Fish Heads by Barnes and Barnes was party in my pants. By Barnes and Barnes follow up wow. to Fish Heads. That bum sent me the same text. Yes, Doctor Steve. Wait a minute, my phone's blinking too. Doctor Steve, this needy fuck. I actually <laughs> have the record. He sends us all the yes, same text. The same text. Are oh, you guys also getting Valtrex? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my text is great news. You could activate a credit card. Thanks. Oh, you got junk mail? Yep. <laughs> How do so you get we? junk text? <laughs> yeah, so did we. Exactly. I, 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 Can we hear, like, just, I don't know, 30 seconds of Party in My Pants? The, yeah, uh, man. And let's all be honest. It, it, have we heard this song before? Uh, Billy Moomy. There's a party in my pants and I watch you all the time. I don't know. I have not. <laughs> that's all you give him. We're not wasting Kevin Smith time for that well, you nonsense. you got to figure that's like, what, 1982, 81, maybe uh, 79. That's, that's a long time ago. That's, uh, yeah, that's but. groundbreaking then, dude. Party in my pants? Come on. It's a big drop off from fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. It's true. Well, fish heads was just so, like, out there where people were like, hey, man, did you see that fish heads on? Plus, it was one of the original videos. Yeah, one of the so original in the rotation. MTV and whatnot. You were all stoned. Fish heads was a 79. 79. Yeah. yeah. Long be that's two oh, years turn that the up. launch of MTV. Turn that up a little bit. This is creepy, too. Like, like the Fish Heads video was creepy. Maybe I was really stoned to watching it. It was the kind of thing you used to watch on, um, what was it called? Um, Night Flight. Yeah, yeah. Play all these weird fucking... This is like a strange... They had to do the really long intro yep. for a novelty song? Yeah. Let's get into it. But they did have to. For a novelty song. It, it is started. a novelty song. Well, it was kind of like a little movie. Why are you laughing at that? Like he'd walk and then he yeah, saw I've the fish heard head. The term used, man. Novelty song makes me think of like, hello, <laughs> we're talking to Mr. Jobs. And they play music. <laughs> that was Kevin, funny. don't make fun. It's one of our best bits ever. Oh, making fun of that please. guy. What's we his love name? him. Dickie, uh, Dickie Goodman. Dickie Goodman. The, the late, oh, great Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Here it is. Now the guy goes into the fish store. Well, it's a minute. It's, it's black a song and white. They still haven't played. Creepy. Experimental film, man. This is very yeah, um, 1979. Imagine David Lynch looking. Seeing this for the first time. It's very David Lynch uh, eraser headish. Right. Which is really fucking creepy. Right, we're like a minute thirty. The movie scares me. With not a note played yet. A nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Walk in my warehouse. Well, he got the fish head. He went to the fish store. What's I understand that. But it's what building. The yeah. story's building. I'm rolling hard. I pulls it out of his uh they bury the lead in this video yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we got drunk drinking um, what is this come on he's looking around a corner and now we'll see dodgers cap on yeah this is halfway over <laughs> and, and not nary a fish head vocal to be heard we're all getting Are uncomfortable sure the one? yeah yeah I, I i think so all right, so he, he's talking to a... Oh, he's looking at a homeless guy. This is very artistic. Is he opening up his he's fish head sandwich? He's opening up the fish head. 
Now oh, it goes to some animation. Okay, it's look, look, looking very right, doing a, it's take doing, on me. Yeah, it's doing a little aha thing. This is where the video used to start. Fish, heads, fish, heads, roly poly fish. I want to hear the vocal. Fish, heads, fish, heads, eat them up, yum. Fish, heads, fish, heads, roly poly fish, heads, fish, heads. He's at his own little party with the fish heads. I don't get it. In the morning, laughing happy fish heads. In the evening, floating in the soup. Uh, what did they do? This? Huh? It was huge, though. It was. Again, like it's like you can't get your head around it if you were born in the last ten, twenty years. But, <laughs> yeah. But imagine being, uh, imagine being like nine, ten, nine to thirteen years old in 1979, and you see that clip for the first time. You've never seen anything like it. Normally on TV, you'd be forced to watch Lawrence Welk with your grandparents. <laughs> the wonderful world of Disney. Were, they were just starting to get cable, and all of a sudden you started seeing stuff like this, and you were like, "What is it?" It was very freaky. Yeah. Imagine watching yeah. that two in the morning by yourself while your parents are sleeping. Yeah. That was like the first time I saw that, and I was, like, excited and confused and terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But that's exactly it. He's right. You used to have to watch, like, your parents' shows. You'd sit there and watch, um, like, you know. I was going to go laughing, too. Well, that's older. I, I just didn't feel like dating myself. Wonderful World of Disney and then Jacques Cousteau. Sure. Uh, <laughs> fucking Jacques Cousteau or uh, Mutual of Omaha. Wild, Wild Kingdom. Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, we used to watch all those goddamn shows. Yeah, well, that you was like a father who liked country music. There was a lot of hee-haw in our house. Hee-haw, yep. I used to have to watch hee-haw with Buck Owens. Buck Owens and Roy Clark. Yeah. Hee-haw-haw. Hee-haw-haw. Hee -haw. <laughs> and, and, and you only had one television, so it wasn't like you could just go to your room and watch whatever you wanted. You could you were go to your screwed. room and you could look out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Like, you have a childhood where you could tell people now, like, in my day, we were we looked out the window. <laughs> that's pretty much what I was watching outside. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, as a bird. <laughs> hey, what's this, uh, the 40th birthday show you're doing Monday, August 2nd? It's the Count Basie. Well, it's a the big birthday theater, yeah. coming up for Kevin birthday. Smith. I turned 40, so I'm going to do it on stage, and we're uh, shooting it for. Um, oh, cool. The next like Q and A, but this one like normally we shoot them for DVD, but this one is going on. There's a channel called Epics that does. Um, I think they did. They just got nominated for an Emmy, I think, for Eddie the last Eddie Izzard special. And there's one uh, they did a David Cross, I think a Gene Garofalo or something. And uh, they asked if they want if I wanted to do one. I was like, Yeah, my God, yeah. So this one we're shooting for this channel, and then down the road, like a longer version, I guess maybe would come out or something on DVD. But the one on my birthday, the one that we're shooting on August 2nd at the Count Basie is being shot for TV. So if you come to that show, ba bang, you're on TV. Very cool. Very nice. But that's, And then the next day, I get on a plane and go to Sydney because I sold out the Sydney Opera House, boys. Wow. Whoa. Good for you, man. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, but that, that was cool. But then they, they were like, hey, man, we can end an extra day. And I was like, all right. And now I'm halfway, beyond halfway, to selling out a second night at the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. You, Jesus man. Christ. That was a cool thing, man. People seem to know that place. Like, I didn't tell many people until I, one person I told, they were like, the Sydney Opera House? And I was like, yeah, you know it. They're like, it's in Finding Nemo. That's the only that, That's the only place I know that, I don't know, it's where uh, Cal Burnett did her show from live once. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's always been my dream to get up there and tug on my fucking ear. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, the August 2nd, I guess, uh, as you guys could, uh, is the East Coast area, so cats could come to that. I wouldn't recommend flying to Australia and seeing me. I'll say the same things there that I say here. That's a long yeah, but, flight. But yeah. it is Australia. You it can is check Australia. out some other it's stuff. I got to buy, I've been on the road a lot, man. I've been, uh, we took the Smodcast, the podcast, out like live and started doing it. And our friends started a podcast called Tell Them Steve Dave, and now they're taking it out on the road like. Tomorrow night out here in Los Angeles, we're playing the Improv. Me and Mosier, last month, we did our Smodcast live at the Improv and sold it out. It was really fun. Holy so now shit. we're doing it again tomorrow night with uh, our first our friends do their show, and then we follow and do our show. And then we get out on the road. We go to 
Tempe, Arizona, Las Cruces, New Mexico, Houston, Dallas, and then Columbus, Ohio. That is a fucked up concept. It's Just a great like concept, taking a you know what it is, dude? podcast it's, it's on the road. Simple. It's you guys. It's basically if you guys took the show and just did it on the road. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's no. It's like when you do it live in front of people. Same fucking thing. We do a very different show live, though. Oh, because you're feeding off that energy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's weird. Yeah, we it's, haven't done one in a while, but we do good. like doing it. So, well, when you guys come out, I opened up a the world's first podcasting theater. It's called Smod Castle. And uh, we, we <laughs> went to the space on Santa Monica Boulevard. You go online, you can probably see pictures of it. It's badass. Done in the colors outside of the Oilers, which to you might read as like the colors of the Islanders. On the inside, all devils. Like the carpet's all devils. <laughs> oh, right on. Red and black seats. But anyway, it's only a 50-seat theater. So, like, we have our opening night, official grand opening called Prima Nocta, July 25th. Like, we sold it out. Four different shows. There's live Smodcast, live Tell em Steve Dave. Then we're doing this also, the, the show called Highlands, which is just us tracking our youth in our hometown. And then Katie Morgan is doing one called Having Sex with Katie Morgan. And um, all four of them happen that night. And then we record them in front of the audience, and they'll eventually all go up online. So... We've got this whole, like, aside from the podcast we do, like, in the room quietly and whatnot, we've got this whole live component now that we keep adding to it. It's so much fun, dude. But you know, it's like doing your show in front of people. Kevin, you don't even have to tell us. We had that element. We loved it at the old place. And uh -huh. uh, you've been to the old yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, with the audience and whatnot. When we had you the, we had... here, as I was saying, when you come out here, you got to play at that spot. Oh, we would love to. Show. From there, we get a room full of 50 people there. and. That'd be great, the yeah. Broadcast from. We, they didn't understand that. that. That was a great element that we had going on. So when they moved us over to the new building, we, we don't have the live audience anymore. It was cool to meet fans from, at times, all over the world just stopping by and checking out the show. Right. And we forgot about them after a while, but, I'm, you know, because you're trying you to focus should, on doing a radio guys, show. You, but you, you guys should take it out anyway. Like, you yeah, know how true. musicians, like people in bands, they've got the album and, and you know, most of the record the studio takes most of that. But yeah. the real meat is when they go out on the road and tour, man. That's where they get to keep all that money. You guys should, I mean, I know you do the show like five days a week, but you should set aside time, man, because it'll really recharge your batteries. To just you three go out to a club, do the same fucking thing. Yeah, yeah we probably, probably do. They'd probably I'm tell us you, we can't. Like, you, you know it. You're like, you sit there, and fucking Jimmy knows it, of course, as well. There's a whole different vibe when you're doing it with other people standing there because yeah. you're like, oh, shit, i got to be funny, man. I haven't heard laughs for me in a while. And so you're jockeying, and it creates a much a, a, a much funnier energy. You, you should do it, man, for yourselves. And plus, you know it would be lucrative. you got an audience that would come out and pay 40 50 bucks a head to see you do it. Well, then um, we're doing it. And and then uh, they'd have to get, you know, 75%. Uh, yeah, so. the company would take 75%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we do they can't... Really? Do, they, do they encroach on your personal dollars? Uh, they're, they're trying to encroach on everything. The second it's anything that is related to Opie and Anthony, radio, broadcasting, whatever. They're, they're, right. they're, they're like, hey, hello, page 936, paragraph 12. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, I mean, even I mean, even if you're not earning from it, though, it's like consider it promotional. But but more than promotional. Oh, Kevin, it's just good don't be the, silly. It's good for the soul of a performer. You guys are performers. You know that. And you're not thinking to, like, like a suit. Recharge. Yeah, why don't you think like a suit? Yeah, come on. No, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, way yeah. too logical. Yeah. yeah. A little fucking room and don't look out any windows that you don't have. <laughs> exactly. So too logical. Depressing little room. <laughs> the old one was good. It had little bleacher section and shit. Yeah, yeah. little this portholes. Very like I remember you guys brought me in there. I was like, are you being punished again? We might as well be in the middle of the building. Like you know, this, <laughs> yeah, this is no kind of, no natural light. We're nothing. Very, you're like you're landlocked as Iowa. Man. Yes. It, it, it speaks volumes that you you set up all. All these studios, you're on the 40th floor in Times Square, and there's no windows. And we can't see the wonderfulness of New York City. Wouldn't you t feed off the vibe of being way up in the clouds in Times Square be when nice. you're doing a radio show? But someone thought that was a dumb idea. But yeah, whatever. Get out, you whatever. gotta get out there and touch the people. Yeah, man, it's been a while. Hey, uh, the <laughs> yeah, man, it's been a while. yeah, man, it's been it a while. has. Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying to slightly move on because I want your take on the Mel Gibson tapes. And the only reason I ask you this is because yeah, yeah. a brand new tape just hit. Which is it? We haven't heard it yet. It's, it was just delivered to me. God, tape how number many text? fucking tapes? This, this dude is like, uh, like, like Tupac with the amount of, <laughs> <laughs> the amount yeah. of recordings. That have been. He's like Prince. He's got a vault. He just can't, tape. can't stop. I, I think they were all, obviously they were all made, uh, 
around the beforehand and then cut up and sure. dished out at whatever oh, yeah. of different course. time. You of know? course. Well, Radar Online, they were really smart. They knew they had gold, and they, they're thinking, why put a 30-minute tape out when we could just give them pieces yep. at a time? Here's the thing, man. People are like, oh, you got to learn that. That'll teach them. Don't talk on the phone like that. It's like, never mind talking on the phone. Just don't talk like that, period. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, you don't, you can't live your life going, oh, if I don't talk like that on the phone, they'll never catch me. It's like, they'll never catch you if you're not a fucking animal. <laughs> you know, he they don't just talk like is, that anyway. He's enraged. Apparently, man. He's enraged. Anybody ever do anything to piss you off that much where you're like, I hope you get raped. Or We've not, I hope you get raped, but I wouldn't be surprised if you got raped. We've talked about that, and I think a lot of people have said they've been, like I personally have been, that angry. There's no way I could say I haven't been that angry, but I've never released it like that and taken it out on somebody and just yelled have, shit like that me, ever. Has, I have. Ever. Here's what we should all say. I've been that angry, and I've never had the moral courage <laughs> that Mel has just to say it. <laughs> Mel has committed the crime of being 100% honest. <laughs> I'm going to ask Jimmy something. Did you sure. just get a picture with Selena Gomez? I did, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah? Yeah. Are you Team Selena, Kevin? Let me say what, what, of the who of the which two teams? Uh, well, you got Selena Gomez, Team non uh, <laughs> and, and Miley Cyrus. I guess are the big two. Well, are those and are, is there a team because at one zone. point they were fighting, or just because which one do I find more attractive? Exactly, which one uh, you find more attractive? I, I, I don't know. I got a I got an eleven year old daughter who's <laughs> too close to all of them, so uh, I, don't, I don't. So you're out of this argument. She took two pictures, really. me and an eight year old. There was a little girl waiting. And Liam, is, he's like, Jim, you want to, I'm like, let her go. I had to let the kid go first. Aww. I would have been too cute. How hot does she look in person? She's very cute in person. Uh, she's I don't pretty, know how old she is. I, she's think too, she's, I think she's getting up there finally. She looks young, though. It's not. She still looks young? I don't think she's sexy. Oh, that sucks. I don't mind that, but it's like, it's not, she is not do Just it turned me. 18, Jimmy. Yeah. Boo. Oh, oh. Who did? Uh, Selena, <laughs> so we could talk openly about her now. The Wizards of Waverly Place. That's right. She That's just right. turned 18? Yeah. She watches she, those shows, man. Man. Fair game. You watch those shows? I've seen a few of them. I got a kid. You know, I've seen a few episodes of Wizards of Waverly. You know, I've seen the Wizards of Waverly Place movie. You know what? They're not that bad, Kevin. What, the shows? They're not that bad. Oh, no, no. Oh, I mean, look, trust me. I've had to watch a lot of kids' programs for the last 10, 11 years. If, yeah. You start to appreciate the ones that actually try. If yeah. Opie starts coming in here <laughs> praising Baby Einstein, I'm going to smack him in the head. Baby my kid's Einstein not watching this. I'm watching Einstein this shit. Raise my kid. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I've Julie seen... Inger Clark, this chick who came up with the concept of like shooting toys and putting it to classical music, and you pop a kid in front of it and they're just magnetized. It's amazing. Ooh. My kids watch the TV already, two months old. Yeah, it, it's amazing they, what they've come up with. They have a Radiohead baby uh, fucking thing I hear that yeah, I want to really? check out. Yeah, show that kid fish heads, man. Give yeah, them fish heads. Reality. You know what? I'll... Show them some fucking tool videos. Don't <laughs> 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 freak them out. All right, Kevin, give me some advice on being a parent. One thing. Um, One thing. What do you got, girl or boy? Boy. Uh, well, One thing. Um, let me see. One tip. Uh, Something. You're supposed to wipe from front to back. <laughs> really? Uh, Why is that? Because if you're wiping from back to front, you're wiping shit onto his balls. There's nothing stranger ah. than lifting up your kid's balls to fucking wipe oh, the shit properly God, when, when they're 18. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lifting up his tiny little fucking ball sack to make sure he's been wiped properly. Oh, it's bad. really bizarre. Thank you later, though. Yeah, exactly. I, I hope shit on his balls. I... Old man, when you guys are tumbling on the front lawn, crashing through the screen door, fighting, you can be like, oh, I lifted your balls when you were a baby. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I wiped shit off of your Vaz Devrins. You don't understand. Stand me, Dad! <laughs> Your tape don't smell because of me, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kevin, right on. I don't know. So, I, I don't know. We... To Mel Gibson, man. You want to hear it? I, I didn't know if you wanted to go or not. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. No, I, I would love to hear it. All right, let's go, then. It's the Mel Gibson. Tape number six has just arrived. So. Oh, no. Oh, you don't, I got, I you got to hear it. I have to leave because I have a flight to catch, but I got to hear the new Mel Gibson tape. Where's everyone Jimmy, going? Where are you going? I gotta go to LA. I gotta go to LA and then San Diego. Um, all right, man. You find me while you're in San Diego, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you. Sweet. And I love to see him. And then I want to talk about Cop Out uh, on on Blu-ray, of course. That's why there's, there's more Jimmy on that Cop Out. Yeah. Is there really? Yeah. Yeah, what? yeah. There's all the stuff we did. That, dude. I, I mean, I want to plug it, but I got it because plug it. it. Sure. Go plug it, man. I don't plug it because it's like buy it because the movie. What they did is nothing short of astounding. They t well, I, that oversells it like a cure for cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but they only rein it in. What they've done is really cool. They took the movie and they 
basically did a, a Q and A. Like I just sat in front of cameras and did a running commentary for the whole movie, as if I was playing to an audience. Then they incorporate me with the footage. Then they take all the cut footage we didn't use and reincorporate that. So I'll be like, let's look at this. We fucked this up. Let me show you how we fixed it. Holy shit. It is. And, and so the, all the, it's like having all your deleted scenes and commentary track and the movie itself mixed into one. And it's this three-hour experience. So if you hated Cop Out, it's like double the length. <laughs> but, but even if you hated it, I think like you would like this because like it's me sitting there making fun of the movie for like an what? hour and a half. And it shows you behind the scenes. It, I've never seen anything like it. It was fucking dope. So if it, it's only on Blu-ray. I'm not a big fan of commentary. You just sold it. Now I got to check that out. Oh, I'm I, telling you, dude, it's worth it. Like, it yeah. begins with me on the logo. They put me on that little, uh, on the Warner Brothers logo, and then they stretch <laughs> me out. A lot of fat jokes because I taped it right after the Southwest thing. Um, it, it's 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 really entertaining. I got to say that much. It's, it's it, even if it, even if you like Cop Out, I think this is more entertaining than Cop Out because it shows you everything that we took out all the cut stuff is in there and not reincorporated it's just like we'll sit there and be like check this out here's five different ones all right back into the movie it's fun and, and you got uh, more jimmy and uh, hopefully more, more jimmy man. more, so jimmy, more gooder jimmy did and every all the, the jimmy we've got some jimmy outtakes and every uh, line variation that jimmy did so you get to see more of oh, jimmy no. intimidating bruce willis as an actor do i look humiliated am i, am I going to humiliate myself yeah, I you were fucking convincing as hell dude i was i told you i was very impressed like Thank you me. didn't just get in there and be like like, you know, I'm a friend of Kevin, so don't worry about this. I'll just do what I do. He he was convincing. You played that squealy little, like, hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You played that perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. I was a great w weasel. Great little I weasel. You, man, I got the, the role Jimmy's going to play. You know, I'm writing a hockey movie, and that's not next. Next is Red State, which we start shooting uh, at the end of uh, August. But after that, I want to do this hockey movie, and I'm writing a part for Jimmy on one of the teams. He's going to play uh, the, a goalie um, who um, can't. Keep it in. He's got a nauseous, nauseous stomach. Nice guy, but he's constantly <laughs> vomiting during the game. Oh, that's great. Totally. That's nervous. <laughs> and it's gonna... in the 70s, so we're going to have like circus 70s Jimmy. So you'll have hair. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to have some weird I, I would love to grow hair sideburns. We'll put one of those like the slick down haircut that my father used to have. <laughs> nice. Hey, Sean William Scott, you got some extra footage of him too, hopefully? Totally. And oh, he good. pops up in and out of the thing. I'm, I can't, honestly, like, I, I'm never the guy that's just like, hey, man, this shit's good. You should try it. But this shit's good. You should try it. Like, the MCM version of the Blu ray is really, really. It's entertaining. They found a way to make the movie even better. I wish we'd released that version of the movie. I'm absolutely going to check it out. And I liked Cop Out. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think the movie's fun. Like, you know, critics really fucking beat the shit out of it. But uh, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's like I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot, and I see a lot of people on Twitter, lots of people, and there's lots of love for Cop Out. There's definitely some people who are like, fuck you, it's terrible. But people really dug them. And that's what I dig about Twitter, man. Like, People don't create the truth for you anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you used to believe what somebody write about you and, and be like, oh, I guess this is true because this one jackass wrote it. Mm -hmm. You just go to Twitter, yeah. man. People like tell you the truth, set you straight. I've actually never seen Cop. I watched it at your house, The Rough Cut, but much like Spencer Tracy, I don't watch my own work. <laughs> you're one of those dudes. That, you're like Matt Damon, dude. He's the same way. I don't, I don't. I don't understand Jimmy. He's fortunate enough to be in these movies, and he never sees it. I don't look at it like so weird. Because well, maybe, he, maybe he's also. I would love to. It's like a karmic thing, or kind of like, hey man, don't, don't fuck what's not broken. Not yeah. a bad metaphor. Don't fuck with. Well, don't fix what's. Not, don't fuck what's not. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not a bad metaphor. It's not that I don't man. care about it. It's not that I don't care about it. I'm just uncomfortable no, I, I watching myself. Just, maybe he's a like, uh, he sees himself, he'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, dude, I don't want to break any illusion I might have of having enjoyed it. Like, I'm afraid to see it and go, oh, my God, you should be fucking executed. I didn't think exactly. you... Yeah, no, I didn't think that at all, it's Jimmy. Like videotape, videotaping yourself having sex, and you're like, hey, this will be fun, but you look at it, you're like, oh, my oh, God. Dude, I did that with my girlfriend. It looked like she was fucking a fish. I'm like, this is... Dis <laughs> I'm like, how do you fuck me? It was so uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> my big, stupid stomach. And it really was humiliating. I can never do that again. Totally. That's cock awesome. only. My cock looks good on film. So sh <laughs> should we do some Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson, how long is the tape? Man, I want to hear. I want to hear. A few minutes. Let's get Let's right into it. it. Tape number six, just released from Radar Online. Steve, if I never seen you clear out so fast as when I said I'd pull the plug on your fucking lustic bullshit. You said you pulled the plug. here today was You've told me a hundred times you're going to pull a plug, no, and I'm you will. I know, and I don't give a damn. I'm just saving my child's life because you are a monster. That's all. You're a monster. Monster. Okay, you're yelling now. Good. Okay. See, right, pl plug right there. Every time she makes a point, I love Mel. He's like, fuck it. Oh, no, so now you're angry, huh? Like, he won't acknowledge <laughs> her point. Yeah, She's accusing him of being cheese. 
<laughs> Could you Come imagine? Because you're so used to in your real life being cast as the hero. He probably has fundamentally lacks the gene to be able to be like you're right. I am a monster, because his whole life he's been told these heroes like, no, that I'm not a great. monster. I fight monsters. I'm Mad Max. He's you're fucking yeah, Braveheart, motherfucker. So okay. <laughs> Sorry. You are a complete monster. You don't give a damn about the fucking career which you spend money on. Not me. I never asked you to do that. Ever. You fucking bitch. You ask me for money all the time. And you've had my money to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So don't you say you didn't ask for it. You asked for every penny. I don't have anything. And I've signed the paper. I've signed. I've signed the paper that enables me to get... I can't get anything from you ever, nor can I ask of anything. I've signed the paper. See, Kevin, we've taken the approach on this show that it's just pure comedy. I'm sorry. It's wonderful. It's, it's hilarious. It's so strange, man. Like, yeah. I've never felt that angry at anybody. Not even like at Southwest, I was never that angry. <laughs> you fucking cunt didn't give me a seat. Dude, I've never been in a relationship where this hasn't happened. Every relationship I'm in, these arguments wind up happening. <laughs> That's it. There's never any physical threats. It's never like that. But it's like, you fucking pig, you piece of shit. It just gets so ugly. I, I, maybe it's just that I could never, in good conscience call anybody else a pig you know what i'm saying like i just don't know what it's like to be like that angry to the point where you're like you fucking pig he sounds like a, like the like a villainous version of mel gibson you know what yeah I'm saying? Like, yeah almost like from superman 3 where superman 3 gets drunk and he fights himself <laughs> and, shit, and he's got like five o'clock shadow that's like the the bad Bad kryptonite Mel Gibson. Is this is voice. evil Mel Gibson. I like the, the cadence he gets on his voice when he's doing yeah. something like this. You fucking cunt. That, that is just like uh, angry mm -hmm. it's fucking. It's the best performance he's given since Braveheart. It really is. <laughs> it shows true emotion. It's all over the map. And you, you start, I mean, even though it's like so hate-filled, the passion, the vitriol with which it's delivered, yeah. you sit there going like, now I know why he's a convincing actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you sit there angry. going, maybe she is all those things. How <laughs> dare she take hundreds of thousands of dollars? <laughs> <laughs> More Mel. I have signed the paper. I don't want anything from you. I don't have anything. child, and she doesn't need a gold digging fucking Russian She's, she's... She certainly. She certainly. I'm sorry. You will not have this child. Mel, you're imbalanced. There's something wrong with you. You need medication. You cannot raise this child with these symptoms. You're acting as a crazy man what? right now. And you have been for many, many months. And you hit me and you hit her whilst she was in my hands. Mel, you're losing your mind. You need medication. You need a fucking kick up the ass for being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore. <laughs> <laughs> a kick up the She says she needs medication. He says she needs a kick up the ass. For being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore. Well, and I stopped it. That was only half. Half of what he wow. was saying. It's almost like he's like nine or 11 years old yep. yeah yeah his comebacks are very immature very mm. immature and very just like this will do it it's all about being naughty and dirty wait 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 did you say a pussy a son a pussy son yep uh, it seems she has a son through um, uh, uh, another guy. Timothy what Dalton? Was, Timothy that, was a, Dalton. that was a knock at, at the sun and a, also a knock at the worst James Bond ever because he just called <laughs> Timothy Dalton's kid a fucking oh, sissy. Oh, pussy. Oh, this Your is fucking pussy amazing. Son. He had a kid with, uh, wow. She had a kid with Timothy, Timothy Dalton. Dalton. He's, a, he's insulting Timothy Dalton's kid? Yeah. I believe so. So James Bond and Martin Riggs could face off finally. They finally could. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> it's like aliens versus predators. <laughs> <laughs> and no, uh, I believe you. So fuck you. And I'm not giving you my house. And you can rot. Unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, the greatest. <laughs>
<laughs> in that order. He actually <laughs> said in that order. Oh, I love uh, it. Because I was thinking it as he was saying it. <laughs> thinking in that order. <laughs> Dude, he wants her back, though, when he's still yelling at her. He's saying. Yeah. Yeah. He wants her back. This yeah. is all. This, that's why he's. Mm. he's uh, just, uh, just under his terms. <laughs> yes, she has to come crawling back, suck his cock, and then say, "I'm sorry." You imagine that's like the second time that he's referenced the cock sucking. No, oh, many 500. times. He loves saying, "Suck my cock." It's, but you can tell, like for him, it's a, it's not. Some people enjoy getting a blowjob because it feels good. This dude does it because it hurts people and it's a thing of power. Yeah, yeah. yes, he's absolutely using it as a uh, thing of power and uh, uh, degradation. Oral like a weapon, man. Yeah. yeah, that's a great thing though. Without being mad, like mm. if he had, if if he just had his head sex in a sexy way. Crawl to me, and suck my dick, <laughs> and I'll say you're sorry. Say it's and sorry. just like sorry. I, just like uh, he didn't need the violent, the the, yeah, that, the evil of it. It's in a just whole other like, context, that's a completely oh, different thing. That's just thing. delicious, yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it's, all about, it's all about delivery, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I backed up. We got to hear that again. Yeah. To my house, and you can rot unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. Do you understand me? You fucking offend my fucking maleness, my masculinity, my being, my soul. And you call me a sinner. You're a fucking moving violation. If you get raped, it's your fault for sure. Showing off your fake tits. <laughs> some special deal? Are you crazy? How much they cost those fakers? Are you crazy? Those fakers! <laughs> those fakers! <laughs> How do they call those What the fakers? fuck is wrong with thank God she didn't get. Thank God she didn't get two nigs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, Mel Gibson has lost his fucking mind. Uh, Mel, it's crazy, man. It's just beyond crazy. It's just, uh, it, it, it literally sounds like a scene out of a movie. Like, who knew that that somebody who is so in the public eye, I mean, maybe not so much anymore, but maybe even more so now, yeah. would ever, ever lose their temper like that in a world in a digital world yes. where everybody has a recording device has some now. way to record yeah it's not like the old days where hey i'll go to radio shack and get that suction cup thing and yeah, put it on the, my phone the big bulky tape recorder under yeah. your shirt you dumb, you dumb <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now it's just like she doesn't even have to leave her house to bring this man down nope yeah she could stay inside just put it out on on the computer and she's wow. done like they're some special deal are you crazy? How much they cost those fakers? Are you crazy? <laughs> I think Kevin loves that one. I love that. I love how he, love how he swallows fakers. How much they cost us? Fakers. Those, those fakers. Fakers. I've never heard him called fakers before. Yeah. We might have to start using that one. Again, he sounds like he's 11. He's just making words up. Yeah. yeah. Fakers. <laughs> Your poopies are fakers. Poopies. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Are those real or fakers? fakers? Like any of the stripper whores that come in and here. He's also like, he's all about authenticity because he's constantly raking her over the coals for these fakers of hers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't, doesn't he likes like those. them. Very natural, man. Loves. I, can't, I can't figure out whether he's a boob man or not. I think he likes those nice, heavy, natural Aussie tits, you know? I think no matter what she had, he hates it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if it was, right? yeah, was real. Yeah. Bitch, put bags in your titties, you stinking whore! <laughs> They're too real! <laughs> <laughs> Why is your pussy wet? Let it dry! <laughs> Those fakers better come crawling back to me and suck my dick in that order! <laughs> in that, in that <laughs> order! <laughs> Good God almighty. They cost those fakers! Are you crazy? <laughs> you complain about mastitis? They're fake, baby! Come on, you got little bladders in there. You think I'm an idiot? Hold on one sec. Did you hear the delivery of, they're fake, baby. There's almost concern in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's... Like, you're like, you're not thinking. Everyone's looking at you, baby. Come on, baby. You're Come on, right. baby. Well, he cursed her He cursed her out for feeding, um, titty feeding their kid with the fake tits. Like, he called them, uh, you know, antibodies or That's you're, right. you're yeah, full of disgusting things in yeah, your body. Yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. done with her. He's not done with her. He wants her back. Yeah, not now he probably doesn't, but when well, he, this call true. When this call happened. Yeah. Can we hear their fake baby again? Do you want to hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's like... I don't know where it was. Hold on one second. It was like a, 10 seconds before. No, I'll go back to here. It's all good. Like they're some special deal? Are you crazy? How much did they cost those fakers? Are you crazy? <laughs> you complain about mastitis? They're fake, baby. Come on, you got little bladders in there. You think I'm an idiot? 
beef one. Have you said everything? I said nothing. <laughs> 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 He's oh, so it's, like watching, it's like watching somebody's worst audition ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to see this. No, no, no. <laughs> I said nothing. nothing. Like nothing he's saying makes sense anymore. No. <laughs> no. He's just mad and hurt. He's just fighting. He's just swinging, dude. He's yep. been rope-a-doped. This is like a guy that we we all watched, and and you just never you keep expecting him at any minute to start going, woo, 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 and it turns out it's an undercover ploy to catch some uh, Christmas tree yeah. salesman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, it's just he continues unabated with that. This hate. is the real guy. This dude don't like ladies at all. This is not Mad Max. He's this got this great real guy. comedic timing, though. Wonderful. Yeah. He Fantastic. does, right? He does. I mean, but that's why he worked for so long. I, one of my favorite Simpsons episodes of all time was the Mel Gibson one. He's charming when he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, like in this tape. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Nothing. You need to say a lot to assuage my insanity because you made me this way. I didn't make you this way. You fucking did so. You were born this way. And you yell and scream and threaten everybody around you. Everybody's pussyfitting around you because they'll scared shitless out of you. But you, you paying. You paying them money, and they will never tell you the truth. They will never tell you the truth who you are because you're paying them money, inclusive of your psychiatrists who should send you to a neurologist because you are imbalanced and you need medication, and he's just taking your money. Expert? Yes. Fuck off. You are completely off your mind. I've never seen anybody like this. You have a schizophrenia. I hate this bitch, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Patrice, I hate this bitch. Patrice hates and I realize bitch. why he keeps saying what. It's like at first that diga that booga booga is beautiful and sexy. <laughs> now it's like what? What did you say? Because not because you know what? I think that's be that started as the insults at one point. He was mad, and I think that was the first time he ever was. Which he goes, man, ippy gibby gibby gooba, like fucking locker, and then, <laughs> and then he goes, what the fuck do you just say? What? And what? And, and, and now what? he has to what? listen to this. He loves that, but it's just like she sounds half retarded, but she's she's foreign and she's trying to use big words. And it's just like, why don't you talk wow. like a fucking idiot the, the way you are? And like, stop trying to say, you need to neurologist, spell it, you motherfucker. <laughs> say electronicus or something, you dumb bitch. Stop using the actual word. He, she, Holy shit. He, she, he loves her and he was driven to hatred and mm -hmm. he's out of control. But I hate this bitch. She's yeah. annoying. She is right about one thing. You're paying people, they're not going to tell you the truth. That that actually stopped them. And he got him mad. They're all cunts. Then she goes, no, you're paying them. But she's saying that to enrage him. She, but he's aware. He said they're yeah. all using them. Yeah. He knows everyone around him is using them. She's trying to push buttons. It's just because yeah, she knows she's recording this whole thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, it's like, no matter how quote-unquote bad she is, she's... She looks like uh, like like the poor fallen woman, like oh, the Virgin yeah. Mary, mm -hmm. compared to the screaming lunatic on the phone. Like, do you know how bad you have to be to make the gold digging, younger Russian uh, house house ruining bride look good? Yeah, it's true. Like she's coming out of this fucking looking like everyone's gonna be like, wow, I feel sorry for you, Oksana. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. But they all every every true. every person feels sorry for. That that person's girl, if they don't know the whole situation, life. like in in context, you can you can kind of pull that somehow. Like I know what it seems like face value, but it's three sides of every story. It's only two sides now. Now the truth somehow has to come out because you're hearing her setting him up on the phone, and she's playing off of the. She's just rubbing a pussy to how much he's playing into this. <laughs> but where's his tapes of her going, Mel, I shit in your food. Mel, well, sure. I, I don't wash your baby. Yeah, she's I, not I, gonna say I, Mel, fuck your mother. That's a great point. She's not going to say anything. To, you know, it's, come uh, on, she's setting okay, them up. I mean, fuck it to the victor goes to spoils. Of course she's not going to incriminate herself. Right. Yeah, that's fuck what I'm saying. Is fucking smart enough to pull out the tape recorder? Fuck him, I will be. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more minute here. Frenia. Because you're born like this, my dear. 
You are so spoiled. You have biggest ego, and you let yourself roll. My God, what an ego! Oh. Nobody would dare tell you that. You're paying the money for God's sake. She's fucking up. What? Nobody will tell you that. that you're paying the money. Oh, like you, huh? I don't need a. I don't need anything from you. Okay, I will disappear from your life just like I came in. Fucking credit card, you callous cunt. You never even say fucking thank you. Yes, I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Another great line. <laughs> I used to say thank you every five oh, goddamn minutes. And they're both minutes. fucking full of yeah. shit because yeah. neither yeah. one of them are going anywhere. No. Like. Mel wants her to say thank you every five every minutes. Every five Kevin. minutes. That sounds logical, right? Yeah, man. That's, that's how you build trust and love. <laughs> Every five minutes, there should be a thank you uh, coming thank from you. her. <laughs> thank you, sir. I can't get enough of this, man. <laughs> Fucking it's mouth. just amazing. I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. And not call me mean. And not look at me sideways. Just suck my cock. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Does anyone else hear Niedermeyer in these tapes? <laughs> yeah, he said you something hear, earlier. You hear a little Niedermeyer? A pledge pin. Uh, right, right. I hear a little Niedermeyer. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. And, and I hear a little George Clooney, but You're that might a be a stretch. You're damn disgrace. And tuck in those pajamas! To be fair, man, if you're gonna go out, like, that's the way to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He's well, hydrogen bombing I mean, it. He didn't know he was going out, but, like, if I'm Mel Gibson and I'm like, well, it's all outed now, it's like, well, it was a good death. You're going to die like Conan on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking, this is him yelling freedom Last as one. his entrails. This is like the true story of Braveheart. <laughs> yes, his fucking entrails are just. It's called Hate Heart. <laughs> Here's the last 20 seconds. Uh, Are you, are you there? You there? You're all mad. Wants to make sure she must, heard that one. Much better than fucking music. She fucking sucks music. cock better than music. He does bring up the sucking cock a lot, and then he actually right there said that's all you're good at. She must she, really be she good. She reeled him in. She did she real, put reeled him in. She a mash on that fucking, mm -hmm. his, his wanker. Yeah. <laughs> he Fuck. fucking, she blew him senseless. <laughs> blew the brains what out a of great him. head she gives, oh. boy. She snakes her tongue under, she licks the vein under the dick while moving the mouth on the head. <laughs> she sucks cock. I bet his ex-wife, God love her soul, gave horrible head. Oh. And she would always try to talk the kids need us while she yeah. had his dick in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and then awful. this one comes along, she's just working some KGB magic. Yeah, this one leaves shit in the mess. diapers until Mel comes. Oh. <laughs> sucks balls, gags, she's a yeah. Uh, trooper yeah. spits. Uh, yeah. Rumor what has a it she might be going back to the old one. And Timothy leave. Dalton? Uh, no, no, I mean uh, he might be going back to his ex-wife. Well, because because she's a just, soldier, just, she's in his right. corner, dude, and, to uh, save his career. And uh, yeah, and no, get, she's get now the United baby. States. She, she loves him. No, no, no. But I mean that's a career saver too. Like, look, action. he fucked up. They he might, left his wife, and he went crazy. He went back to back. But, uh, but to you know what? I don't think she's coming to court. It, you know, as a as a trick, man. That that woman, Mad is, Max that's Four, that's his fucking wife, Mad Max man. Four. That's what he needs. Yeah, Mad Max Four. There you go. That's all. <laughs> he's done. That, With that, a, that, the villain is a, is a young Russian bitch. Yeah, and he's just so he just, missing a hand. That'd be fucking... great. He writes and fucking directs, produces a movie where a Russian girl is just the biggest cunt, <laughs> Could you uh, and he's just <laughs> yelling at her, but he's the sympathetic character. Oh, she's just fucking <laughs> sitting there with one of those. Those apocalyptic cars that they build themselves, <laughs> just <laughs> with a giant purse that just fucking. <laughs> she just takes money from vacuums everybody. Vacuums his money. <laughs> just vacuums his money away. Goes around sucking dick. All the fuck. All her soldiers of guys whose dick she sucked, <laughs> and hypnotize them and shit and fucking. <laughs> he's just like, I'm not gonna fall for you. Son. A room full yeah. of children not being taken care of. <laughs> and she drives the car. It's made out of like uh, gold bullions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chip. So, Kevin, Jesus. um, <laughs> yeah. I was just scripting my, uh, what, what I figured the next Mel Gibson movie would be called Brave Whore. Brave Whore? That's probably out there as a porno. I wouldn't doubt it. When's your birthday, Kevin? August 2nd, sir. Okay, mine's the 19th. 
Yeah. We're about to get the birthday party started that everybody had planned for me. Yeah, we we are, uh, Jimmy. But you have to leave for L.A. No, I don't actually. Until I, I forgot my flight is not what I thought it was. All right, Steve, bring the what? cake down. Yay. Cake. Where's the cake? cake? Steve, bring the cake down now for Jimmy. I didn't have a party. It's never been cake. No. No. No cake? No oh, cake. I thought there was going to be ice cream well, cake. Well, maybe Steve could explain why there's no birthday cake for Jimmy. I ate it. Did he, did we, he, me, I, I me. Uh, we both got birthday cakes on our birthdays. Here comes Steve to explain. I'm sure. Well, I was going to. As he lumbers down the hall, taking was his sweet the old time. Yesterday or forthcoming? No. Oh, the July 19th. His birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, buddy. His birthday was yesterday, but he wasn't here until the last hour of the show. We didn't know he was going to be here I flew yesterday, home. but we all knew he was going to be here today. So obviously, the birthday cake is about to enter the studio. Yes. Right, uh, Steve? Uh, no, there's no birthday cake this year. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Why? Um, wasn't in the budget. Yeah, <laughs> you want, you want, you want, you want the, the, the truth. Budget. Yeah, it's been very hard time expensing cake. shit lately. It's a, a cake, fucking cake. For the love of fuck. Yeah. But wait, now what happened? What was the process you wanted? I like how you me? got him shell shocked to the point where he's doing an impression of himself. He doesn't. <laughs> that wasn't an he, impression. Steve wasn't? doesn't even know how to do <laughs> him. You, you don't even know who you are. Yeah, so I noticed that a long time ago. I fucking really I noticed that a long time ago. Oh, he does impressions of himself. It doesn't really matter what I say. It's always wrong. So I just have to walk in. Oh, you got him bumbling. But Steve, that's not even a joke. Patrice is onto something. I'm. He came in. He's just like. Who's the real Steve? Yeah, he just is. So well, the real, the real Steve kneeled down. Oh, okay. Jesus. Steve just sat down. This yeah. could be a little. All right, so, Steve, what, what now yeah, what exactly? I Jimmy's stopped birthday, even Kate. trying to expense shit a while ago because the blanket answer is no. Did we uh, All get. Right, so, you didn't try. Just say you didn't try. Okay. I didn't try because I'm <laughs> sick of trying and hearing no. So, did, I didn't try. What about. We the, had something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm hold not done. Calm we down. had He's something. Shaking. Calm, take what, a deep breath. I think it's I don't want you to say. You're getting all Gibson y. I'm on your side, Steve. I see him. He's sweating shaking. Hold on, man. Kevin, hold on. So, don't make this. Well, yes. Let me tell you something. What he just did, man. I'm telling you, he talked to himself, and he's not going to take. Just calm right. down, Steve. Can we get, okay. can we get Sam down. in here, though? He's going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Sam loves this. Wait, stuff. boys, can I jump off Coast Bathroom? All right, buddy. Oh, yes. Really? Oh. I'll keep talking. I'll come okay. Back. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Guys, Steve. Uh, guys, Steve. Um, shit, I completely derailed. Well, Steve, didn't we, I was didn't say. We, I'll say this. Didn't we get a strawberry rhubarb pie yesterday? Um, or a couple days ago? Yeah, but that's like a. It was like a. That fucking... could have been Jimmy's birthday fucking cake. Jimmy, did you want a twenty dollar rhubarb pie for but, your birthday? But you could have got a twenty dollar cake for him. I could have. Yeah, but the normally I pie, you get the cake for Jimmy. Normally, I really was going out of the yeah. way with like hundred and something dollar so fucking expenses. What about the crumb cake? How about just an ice cream cake? You they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have said none of that. No, they wouldn't have, but I was going over the top with, you know, no, the expensive ones. Cake. I'm so, sorry, Jimmy. What were you saying? We had something planned what? I had We had something lined up. The talent department was uh, working on a special color, but it fucking didn't happen because oh, well, certain oh, people don't boy. like to wake up early. But okay. I'm not going to say anything. Why? It's fine. Who was going to be I the person? I was supposed to call. Nope. <laughs> why can't you say it was? It? I don't, I don't I mind if they didn't call. It's fine. Yeah, why can't you say the person? I'm not mad they didn't call. It's someone you work with, so I'm not going to fucking keep I'm not going to. Now it sounds like you're making it up. Yeah, you're, you're somebody I work with. What are you talking about, Steve? Uh, Opie, Anthony? No. If, if, if the problem Kenny, was that he couldn't gee, get up take early, a, take one more guess. Colin? No. He's Kenny. Kenny? No. no. Why would I listen to you? Uh, somebody <laughs> who I work with. Yeah. Um, that was good. Oh, call. Leno? Uh huh. Oh, that's all right. I don't, he's got to tape the tonight shot. I don't expect him to get up at six in the morning to call well, me. Well, work with? I thought you meant like work with yeah. somebody yeah. here. Yeah, dude. I'm not a, I don't I'm not a, co a colleague. Everybody's thinking. I'm thinking Bob Kelly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, yeah. oh, oh, Kenny. Dude, oh, shit. Dude, Vos, yes, Robert De Niro. <laughs> right. When you have to wake up, when you tape when you tape a national TV show, you don't have to get up at 530 to call someone you're going to see in two weeks. To say happy birthday. Um, you know what my happy birthday present is? I'm on the show tomorrow. <laughs> That's the birthday present. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, well, yeah. it didn't happen, Jimmy. I don't know what to tell you. It should have been a birthday. Steve, what are, what are you today. still sure of? Like, when you come into this job? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, because you sons of you're bitches. Make, you're making it worse. Here, no, when, when you walk in, no when you walk you're in, it worse. Thing, no. and you're trying to, to oh, this uh, no, this is try and be confident, but what are you, what do you absolutely know? That, that you no do matter. well and no matter they 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 don't shake you in that. Um, what you no, it's you know what it's it's different now. It's just a different mentality. It's no longer I. It's it's no longer a search for approval. It's just I walk in and it's the beating will be to what degree? Ooh. No, do you see how you reversed it? That you beat him into. Yeah. Into really, if this was Roots, <laughs> he he has come to the point where he did change his name. He is Toby. <laughs> he, you. 
I know it's hard too because you, you feel the pressure. Because I can feel I can feel these little sons of bitches. Look at Sam. Kunta just... Carlisi. <laughs> Kunta <Kunti> Carlisi. <laughs> yes, I am Kunta Carlisi. <laughs> they cut your half totally my mouth. Kunta Kunta Carlisi. Yes, like oh shit! I am not Toby. <laughs> yes, I live with my son even... Chicken Sandwich. Oh, 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 Steve, calm down. Oh, no. I saw him. I used to have a rule oh. about not wanting to kill the hosts, but now. Oh. Steve, run. Just run. It's not going to get better. Jim, I, I will give you a five-second head start. Why? Start running down Because the you said my son. No, but it's not his son's son. It's in we the know. movie. It was, we know. It was we know. We know. Boundary and see you. You just driven him insane. <laughs> he, know, he now can't. The context of, of humors now even love. He's in pain. Yeah, but you, I would say that even if you had no kids. Yeah, yeah, you know no, let's not talk about this. Yeah, it's called, just splinters from the glory hole. We all know. That's we my all know. But it's just, you see. Get it. You, when's the last time you've been on vacation? Oh, oh God. 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 You got my fucking sister. You fucking asshole. Oh, I'm on vacation now. Oh, my God. Oh, you fucking assholes. He, you, he, he's scared to leave for five I'm minutes. I'm a man of leisure. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. I used to get the Jeez, shit man. kicked out of me for, uh, I mistakenly took a lot of Mondays off and then um yes, since yes, uh, yes, i have been eclipsed in the that. fucking day off department by several individuals ooh, ooh. i'm not saying they shit they oh, no, no 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 wait 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 <laughs> anyway, like, no. I'm Scott not Peterson it. said he mistakenly killed his wife. Yes. Right. It's like, no, you did it on purpose. Well, yeah, but in hindsight, that was a mistake. Shit. <laughs> but who eclipsed him? Just said he was I'm, Dude, I'm not even going I, there, so I'll walk out of the room. Oh, no. Somebody, no. somebody dropped dime? You got it. No, we're I'm not, dude, on the it's not, no, I'm not we're gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not, not even going to. He's gonna drop time. No, it's a legit question. No. We're on will, the air. Because I, I can do it. I, I can do it on my own. Monday. I don't work Monday. Those are my cum days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, Steve. No, <laughs> you get the push, push. It's not gonna get answered. But it's a fair question. It is a fair question, and it's my prerogative to not answer. It's not. I answer it. I'll answer it. You're the producer of the show. But this is a, but this is something I can address and have addressed off the air. Fuck off the. This is it's a radio show. If that's we're right. saying to you, come on, come on, who Lisa? takes more days? Yes. That's not a secret. It's it's not like saying somebody <laughs> told you to be personal. It's it's a legitimate. Po Everyone throws and I, you under the bus. And you stop trying to be the nice guy. You hate these fucking guys. No, so I say don't, something. No. Yes, you do. you do. And it's okay that you do. No, it's not okay because I have to. I have to try to be. Pardon but, but the, the bigger person. Can, 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 oh, can I speak from a, a large? Oh can I speak from a large <laughs> man's point of view? Yes, please. please. I, I like to Instigating. speak from a, a oh, okay. large man's point of view. Yes, yes, sir. Everyone here, okay, that teases them, other than the, the bosses, yeah. you guys, it, it's, uh, Eric, Eric, Travis, Danny, Sammy, smarmy little things <laughs> yeah. that. That you know, when Danny says something smarmy, you go, yeah, yeah. You know what I like to do to cure your smarminess is press you against the wall and and introduce you to to madness. But they they talk to him with that knowing that you can't touch him, that nanny 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 smarmy <laughs> shit. Thank and you. And you want to put them through every wall just so they know, motherfucker. I'm not play. He has to play a game that he shouldn't have to play, which is smarm. Which is smart. smart. He can beat them all up on his own. And he has to deal with this little, this niddly so shit. got to come to physical altercation. But yes, see, please. Please. stop, stop. No. But just understand that people who can be physical and you're made to feel like you're an asshole for thinking about it, don't, 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 don't diminish the fact that they, they know that he can't fuck. Stop it. He's, an, he's mentally capable of dealing with them with, on that level, but they all of them, 
are f- it's Valkyrie. But not, but they, here's what he could they do. They are fucking on him. Here's what he could and do. And he wants to put a hole through one of their chests. Here's just what, one good when fucking I ask, time. Here's what Steve could do when I say who is taking days off. That's a legit question. It's tying into a point. And it's like it's part of the show to answer that. That's not... You, you can't not answer that. Like when you say we're teasing you for taking days off, someone has surpassed me. Who? I don't want to say. Well, that stops the bit. This is a fucking radio show. Right. Confess right. Franny's blowing me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> who takes off more days? I don't think no. it's a bit to Steve. No, no it's more. not a bit. It's not a bit. But it's you something don't, I have you to deal with. I'm saying. I understand what you're saying, but it's, it's a something radio I have show. to deal with. The listeners I, don't care what it is. It, All right. It's, okay, then you know, you know what? what? For in 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 um in the future, I won't bring up that shit. Because but you I have to I have to deal with this stuff. Behind the scenes, but then it sounds like you're lying on the air. No, and I don't, think, I don't think you are either. I'm not lying. But who yeah. is it? You, know, that Anthony, takes off more you would never say. And just thinking no. about what, how people approach this, you would never say to like Randy Couture, mm-hmm. "Is it come to blows?" Like you know what Randy <laughs> Couture is exactly. is destruction. Yeah. But what a, when a guy who could be destruction is not. It's like, really, you're going to... But well, I don't but have that type of relationship on, with Randy it's a, Couture. It's a, if I did, I, I feel then I would be able I, to just give him shit. and About that. I, I, I would understand go back that. and forth, then he'd give really, me shit. It's, it's, it's Gulliver's kind of... It's a gull. It's, a, it's yeah. just... You can... F- I, I, I'm telling you. Just, Danny, look. We, Dan, you got to be careful with Danny. Where it's not careful because of him. It's like Because no one fears his, his dangerous intellect. No one's afraid of, like, Danny's <laughs> unthinking Jeez. that he knows more. Jeez. No, no, no. I'm with that, too, because Danny, me and Danny changed. I, I feel, I, I kind of go, hey, but that's it. it but he got What happened? It, it started with that thing over at XM. Where's Danny? Hold on, well, he's got to be here. Yeah, he should. No, he, had, he had to leave for some family thing. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah. so what it, that, it happened over at XM where I go, wow, you really didn't, I like, asked him to, to do that download, and he goes, oh, no, here he is. I asked him to do that download. But oh. but now I know how. See, I don't I don't work here. From that town, the it download never. But it but it wasn't me who stopped how we are. It was Danny. Danny's oh, Danny's very cold like that. So, but I I'm not invested in him like that. Where I work with him all the time. Mm-hmm. But I can tell the way he is. Like if you go, hey Danny, something you got to be careful because he he goes he huffs and he does <laughs> shit that dudes don't. Do oh Ooh. shit Ooh. when you're dealing with dudes, you, you understand? And it was like, oh well, it's like when you go, hey man, and it's like a <sighs> a sigh of you're annoying me or d-. like dudes don't deal like that. You don't do that. You don't fucking go. I do. <sighs> I do different things. Right, but you don't. But, but you but do it I as a dude. Dan, I see Danny as as a dude, but being able to push fucking buttons. D- like dudes crazy. don't push buttons. Well, they do. N- I've seen you. I've seen you go like this. But it's not a. It's not. It's not with a. With a. It's not a. It's a. It's a. It's an outwardly overt button push. It's not where you you go. Hey, could you do this or do it? You see the, the eye rolling. You see. What have I done to you? Mosh, oh. my, it, it, you've never done, You haven't done anything to me. It's like when we had that that little thing over at XM over the computer, the movie thing. It changed. I'm telling you. I'm. But one thing I don't like doing, I don't like arguing about what people both know to be the facts. We. It's not the same, but it's Mm -hmm. fine. It's no resentment thing. It's just like you go. I don't. I don't like to deal that with was the such fact. an inconsequential event, as I remember but it. But it. it wasn't. It was Danny it was on at the computer like he isn't uh, you now and stuff like that. And Patrice wanted to see a site, and Danny. Well, it was for it was for like a it was for like a, a, a brand new movie thing, and yeah. like I, it just that it was the found, look, that was the foundation. It didn't look like a legit site. Yeah, where no, 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 that's not what made me. Please, I'm just I just didn't want to get my machine infected. Please understand that that wasn't that wasn't the reason. Yeah, that was the the thing oh, that, that you go. Symptom? That was the the beginning where you you notice something that you go, okay, for me to continue to, mm-hmm. be, to exist, you have to. I go, okay, this is I'm a because then it was one time you go, hey, hey Dan, and you, you you do it like that. Where, but when you have to deal with a guy, you know, on a level where you got to figure out what makes him tick, thing where it's like, oh, if I say this this way, it could turn. You just you just kind of go, hmm. I'm not going to deal with it. He has to deal with it every day, five days a week, from Travis 
and this fucking cocksucker who snitches but you don't on think him. Steve does things you're like right. that too, where you sit there and go like, "Oh, I got to deal with Steve's idiosyncrasies." And 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 when Jimmy I see and when I Obi see one, and me I and look at Mars. What the fuck is wrong with Mars? He's jerking uh, off to this. We, we we don't have much time left to say what's wrong with fucking Mars. <laughs> Mars is he's a but I'm ball. saying he's Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I know there's a lot of shots, but I have an affinity towards because coming here, you see, it is really no one's with Steve. Oh shit! Yeah. Nobody's on Steve's side. That's what. That's why I'm talking as a. I have an affinity for How that. How did you think that would happen? <laughs> I'm just asking. But that's that's circumstantial. Fuck that. I'm a big guy. I, I I know just because everybody is is on that on that page, that still doesn't make them. I don't go with that. I have to hear the whole thing. Steve is the lieutenant that the entire platoon wants to frag. They're fragging him! <laughs> but, but, but fucking, I what, but uh, fucking cartoon bird face, he uh, takes every ooh. second. Oh, shit! He ooh. takes, uh, what's his name? E-Rock. E e e fat face. E e Who's yes. cartoon bird face? Uh, uh, fucking, um, fucking E-Rock. Sam is just <laughs> standing here with a microphone just interjecting like a bird on someone's shoulder. If, if I saw, this is what, and this is coming from an outsider, looking in. If I saw that they had the respect and fear of him as a guy who was their lieutenant, mm -hmm. and they fuck with him like that, exactly. they fuck with him like <laughs> a regular dude. They but, don't fuck with him like they don't snicker like what a dick. And then it's like you guys go, oh, this dick. And but I go, how does that happen? I don't know, but they don't give how him does that. It happen it's when no a lieutenant snarky... wants to get fragged. How does it happen? Why does Steve, why do why men don't wanna... they fucking like you? I don't fucking know. I wish I knew. I honestly wish I knew. This At this point, I have to just, I have to just do my, do my game. I'll just say, because I don't always, want to go down a sinking ship. I mean, like, he's an asshole. Fuck Steve. But I just, I want to see it. It's the lieutenant that marches his men around with turning the map, going, "Where the fuck are we?" <laughs> it's the lieutenant that marches his men through a minefield. It's the lieutenant that fucking <laughs> uh, delivers a fucking short round into another platoon. But all these that's guys say, saying. fuck but you, lieutenant. Why... If he goes, come on, soldiers, let's go to this minefield. They go, suck my dick, you <laughs> fucking because, sissy. Because, and they fucking ride him. Because ten other times, 20 of their buddies got blown up in the minefield. <laughs> Not these motherfuckers. <laughs> There's yes. a lot of they Danny get blown in the mind. <laughs> 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 he, Steve is scared to death of Danny. Like, get the fuck out of here, Steve. You brought up a lot of incompetent examples, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to acknowledge that. I was just saying, what, as soon as he walks in, as soon as he walks in, as soon as he walks in, as soon as he walks in with anything, Steve's a faggot voice. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. It is just, funny, though. That's good no, radio. It's yeah. hilarious. That's good radio. Yeah, you can't. Which is hilarious, line, but Patrice, it's there hilarious. Is a line. Yes. There is a line between what goes on when the mics are on, and even when they're off during <laughs> spots, but I mean, like when the show is over and shit like that. So Steve is a douche, I, I just don't know him. No. I don't fucking, if I see Steve on the streets, I won't go, hey, yeah, it's high Yes, you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the streets, I'm right? Not <laughs> Am I not very courteous to you off that. the air? How did you Extremely. even conceive a... <laughs> Uh, look, oh, here's Steve's baby. How did you conceive a yeah. child being a flaming homosexual? Like, <laughs> how did you make it be fucking in the ass? <laughs> fucking a man in the ass. <laughs> it's beautiful. It feels good. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's just I'm saying, as a big dude, you, you're playing with the dude from Rampage. He's a big dude. Steve is a big guy, man. And this little guy's fucking with him. In a, you're a big guy, I'm a little guy way, but you know you can't hit me. So it's like he has to be a little guy. He is physical. So it's like, stop fucking with him on that way. Because somebody could get fucked up. But the physical Talking thing, like uh, a black man. No, the physical thing doesn't matter. It's yeah, as, a, fair. as That's a fair. As a boss. As time, they don't That's fear fair. him as a boss. A little. As a boss, they don't fear him. That's that. That's where the problem is. His size doesn't matter because you can't think that way when you're teasing each that's other. That's what I mean. No. Because you're not on the street, you're at work. No, it, but as a boss, can't. they don't fear him, I'm saying. That's Kenny knows as a fucking big, as a formidable, a formidable man, he has to behave in a non-physical mm. way. But he know when somebody fucks with him... <laughs> That he can be physical with to stop it all. But right. he wouldn't on the job. Like, I would never be afraid of Kenny hitting me at serious or hitting one of these guys. Kenny would, if he had to fill out paperwork, he would do it properly. Kenny would, would nail somebody 
in in the way that's work appropriate. That's he, he, also Kenny's job. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm saying, saying it's talking not inside. Though. Though. I'm talking inside. Inside. Kenny wouldn't just beat the shit out of no, him like he'd I'm, want to. Right. But, but, but the want is I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, is that that's all? You know, I'm just. Steve? Well, you know, I don't know if I, I should Danny be on Steve. Did. I know I come every once in a while, but I'm just, I watch Steve crumble. Danny had a comment, too. He didn't I'll change sides Danny, in a second. Nothing. Danny's got to defend himself, too. He wanted, I know you want to just oh, okay, sorry. Started. I don't know. I mean, uh, between me and Patrice, I don't, I mean, I didn't think I was ever pushing your buttons in any way. No, you weren't. It's, it's. I actually, I, you know what's funny? Because it just came up the other day. I was saying how things between me and you have been different for a while. And actually, I wanted to give you a call and talk about it off the air. Because me and Danny do the thing right? really off tight, but it's off the air. Yeah, the air. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't. It was just like it could. It, as far as I'm, that's what I'm saying. As far as dude shit, right? I, and for me, me as an apology, saying an apology or taking one, the shit is done. I never don't accept an apology, and I and I want my apology to be accepted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's just what. But I watch, it's like, you, it's like these two motherfuckers as a dude when I'm looking and somebody's trying to say sorry and then still not <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> That's fucking strange on every level. It's just like, hey, man, I'm sorry. It's the, and it's like, nope. This is a fucked up thing. <clears throat> no nope. It really if I is. say sorry, dude. What a bunch of fucking psychopaths. <laughs> we can't even argue the point Patrice yeah. just made. <laughs> yes. No, I know. That's yeah, strange to me. As a dude, you yeah. just made but, a you just made a human point that we're not used to. But Patrice, we just we have no idea. And what I know it's about. radio. I know the radio Honestly, shit is you know. There's no Sam right question. Uh, if you said sorry, <laughs> like I'm sorry for my behavior, I would expect the behavior not to repeat, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Is Sam. that the lieutenant? Let me tell you what Sergeant Bonds, Bonds would have did if any of these guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Sergeant Bonds would have went death. Now what do you all know about death? <laughs> <laughs> and sliced one of their faces. Producing what do you yeah. know about producing <laughs> death by chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> oh shit. Steve, you want to say something? Oh, now no. look, I know you all <laughs> love stunt brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I, lo I love VD. I know there's VD. <laughs> 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 He's been fucked in the ass six times, and still he keeps coming. <laughs> the only thing that can kill this show is Steve. The case is piling on. You were defending, defending him. him. That's the rules are funny. I'm gonna drive him. I want to drive him to suicide, but I don't mean it. It is, right. it is funny. <laughs> but I'm saying, <laughs> just, I'm trying to. Listen, we got you. And by the way, I must say, I got... love, I love Daddy. I miss like us. What it's it used just, to be. Just, yeah, yeah. But I just don't want to we, we put myself like, in a spot to be mad at uh, at, a, at another man. Yeah, I, I don't like that shit. We used to have like half hour phone calls. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. sounds sexy. It was nice. Yeah. No, I, I, no, I missed that because it did change. For me. He things was things yeah. aren't different. You know, it's, I just. Right, it, it's, all right, all right, you guys right, got it. Right, one more thing. You got to get out of your piranha fest. I just want to say that it's different for me because I don't want to put myself in a position to be angry at another at a dude. Right. So I just go. All right, let me, so you step let, off and let me leave. It. I think the thing is so small between you two, it could be fucking resolved in like a five minute phone. A walk to the elevator. Yeah, yeah. It, hey, it uh, really is. Uh, there's, there's too much there. You guys, <clears throat> all right. Fun. There's no way Kevin Smith is still on the. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Smith <laughs> is the greatest. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big clap right there, man. That's a fucking huge ovation right there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he likes drama. That's beautiful. That's yeah, fucking rolls. beautiful, man. I, uh, goddamn thanks for uh, going with that one. I wasn't no sure you were still there. I, I sit back for good radio, man. No, I know yeah. the best of all. All right, listen, Kevin is a trooper and a true friend of the radio show. Yes. Cop out on DVD and Blu-ray. He sold me on this because he's doing commentary. I never fucking watch commentary uh, stuff. I'm not that guy. But in this case, I'm definitely going to watch the uh, Kevin Smith co uh, commentary on Cop Out. So, uh, come, to the, come to the birthday show. August 2nd, the Count Basie yeah, Theater. let's do that, man. It's 732 yeah, right Come on down. 732-842-9000. Yeah. And uh, Kevin's website is View Askew. Uh, v i e w a s k e w dot com, and you know that Kevin Smith on Twitter, you get like a million and a half fucking followers. What are you up to, Kevin, on Twitter? 
Uh, 1.67. I've been over in the same area for like a while now. What I do is, like, I'll go on mad ra- uh, tweeting rampages where you do like 50 tweets and you'll lose like 2,000 followers. And over the course of the next week, they come back. Yeah, they always come back. You lose them again when you start going on a rampage sure. again, like posting a lot. But yeah, they're still around. Right on, man. And I'll see you this week at uh, Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con. Please find me, dude. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you. All right, soon. we'll see you at your birthday party. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, guys. Kevin Smith, everyone. That so That's hilarious. Funny. He was there through the whole time. Yeah, yeah. when he fucking. That's great. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Where are you going to be, Patrice? I was hoping. I knew that would be a big oh, one. Miami this weekend. Miami this weekend. Miami, Miami and Prof for Patrice. And I'll be in Atlanta at the end of the month, and I guess I'm leaving. You know what? I got to say it. We should have fucking got Jimmy's cake. I don't know why we're depending on fucking Steve. We hey! We should have made sure you had a cake today. deal, you, you bitch! I mean, it's not a good enough excuse that the company yeah. can't pay for a fucking <laughs> birthday cake. <laughs> That's not a big deal. Yeah, but my we're, you know what? I'll, 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 got my cake! It's better for me that I don't have any. I, but I'll take some blame. I got to take blame for that. We can't fucking... You know, bitch the company out because we, we couldn't afford a twenty dollar cake. She got Peter Chris. It's, it's pretty, such a, it's pretty fucking lame. It's such a fucking man. ridiculous birthday number. Huh? Forty two. Yeah, doesn't need a cake. That is a dumb number. A cake for is a cake. killing him. We're at betting earlier. We could just <laughs> cake is killing him at forty two. Yeah, yeah, this is true. That's that's true. true. Right. Fucking you know what? Fuck, fuck you cake. and fuck <laughs> your cake. You're right. Fuck cake. Jeez, made a point there. for sure. Dumb. And thanks to Steve and everybody else and. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You motherfucker. Yes. It's, this so is a, it's a movie. This is a stressful area, man. That, it's a movie about the war about me. It was called Buffoon. <laughs> oh, no, no. Steve, run. Run, Steve, run. Steve, run. Oh, he's going to kill you. Oh, sweetie. I just want to. Oh, I'm going to know what pisses you off. Run. Run. Oh, that's uh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave you with with Bob Kelly rapping, but, oh. but, but before you turn off your radio, don't because Derek took uh, the Bob Kelly rap and made it into something I do believe. So let's check this out. Ron and Fez next. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Patrice. Thank you. Have fun in Miami. Thank you. What's up? I'm Bobby K, and I'm on the radio.